What's up everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Another day. And another time. So we're currently in free mode, which is super chill for us. I guess. Ryo had died. And um I guess we're just gonna go waste our moves. Takuma, last night was awful, wasn't it? Yeah. First professor, now Ryo. We faced lots of danger since we came to this world, but for people to actually die? I'm reminded once again how much more dangerous this place is than I thought. How are we supposed to get out of here? How are we supposed to survive? Takuma, are you alright? What? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't get so down after how you cheered me up last night. That's okay. I'm still a little surprised myself. Surprised? About what? About Ryo. Still can't believe what happened to that human child. If that had happened to you, Takuma, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, same here. After all, it wasn't just Ryo that disappeared. Kunumon went with him. I feel bad for Kunumon too. Ryo never seemed to understand what Kunumon was thinking. But I know Kunumon was concerned for Ryo. Why did it have to end like that? Now Kunumon doesn't even have Ryo. And children are special to Agumon and the others somehow, right? But even so, the thought of disappearing must be terrifying even to them. So it makes sense that Agumon would be upset by what happened to Ryo and Kunumon. Well, I'm not going to abandon you, Agumon. Aw, Takuma! Actually, I need to do that before anything else. Lower the voice volume. What a nice thing to say. Looks like this time it was your turn to cheer me up. Thanks to you, I feel a lot better. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could at least cheer you up. I'm pretty sure everyone else is still upset. Then I'll just have to fix that. Oh, ow. Uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> is there anything... <laughs> is there anything you think I could do? What might Agumon be able to do to cheer people up? Maybe if you went and talked with everyone like we're doing right now, it might help to make things easier to deal with. Then again, I'm sure they are all in pain. Maybe they prefer to be left alone, I'm not sure. Well, it's actually only been a few days since we met. I'm not sure what you could do. Really? You don't have any ideas? I thought for sure you'd know you'd know right away. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, how about this? Why not do something for the others you'd like them to do for you? Oh, good thinking! That gives me an idea. I should go look around that one spot. <laughs> Sounds like he's muttering to himself about something. Be right back, Takuma! Wait, where are you going? Don't worry about it. Bye! If you say so, but be back in the cafeteria by noon, okay? Otherwise Kaito might go off looking for me on his own. Got it! That actually didn't cost me any moves. Okay. This one will cost me a move. Uh, how is... How are my status with everyone? Saki 4, Professor Dead... Finti with Suji zero. And ah, uh, see. Um, let's follow this first. After that, we'll see what. Because uh, there are special things you can do every free time, and you get something at the end of it, at least. Hmm, this one's no good. This one. Oh, over there. Yes, I think this could be it. Bet Takuma and the others would love this. I think I'll head a little farther out. Hmm, 
No sign of Agumon here. Where could he have wandered off to? Power Pineapple. Superpower Pineapple. I wonder if there's a max to these stats. I'm just gonna pump it all into Agumon because I can. Don't really need a better reason, right? <laughs> like saving them up because I didn't really know what to do with them or who to give them to. Okay, let's go talk to um, this person. Well, where did he go, I wonder? Wow. Shuji's face looks completely... Um, too much the same. Ugh, it's all my fault. If only I'd been able to get her. Shuji. What? Oh, Takuma. Sorry, I was just talking to myself. No, I feel like I should be the one apologizing. I didn't mean to scare you. How are you doing? Shuji, you look like you're in so much pain all the time. I'm worried about you. Shut up! What do you know? You really... Shuji is probably the next, uh, that can die very easily. Cut. So, uh, there are a few... I, I, okay, I've done a little bit of research, I should say, on deaths of the characters, right? Because I wanted to know about if there was New Game Plus and things like that. But from what I heard, there are a few characters that are very hard to keep alive before New Game Plus. And the thing is, is that, uh, like, you can tell which characters have a uh, stronger mental decline than others. Ryo suddenly just decided to be like, I'm not here anymore, and was mommy this, mommy that, right? Even though his mother already had passed away at that point. Uh, so his mental decline went, like, rapid. At start of the game, he was still, like, a big-mouthed dude, and then he just, from, like, stay slowly going this, and then whoosh! So, I guess that's why he died. The reason I'm saying that I think that Shuji is the person that's gonna die next is because his mental uh, stability is way worse than that of the other characters as well. But that is just my speculation right now. <coughs> <clears throat> Not only was I thrown into some strange new world, I watched someone die in front of me. I'm sorry, I only meant... This is exactly the kind of thing the Professor trusted me to keep from happening. If I'd act had my act together, Ryo would still be here. I've completely failed Professor Shuji. I can see why you feel that way, but you shouldn't blame yourself. What happened to the two of them wasn't your fault. No, it is my fault. I'm the oldest, the one who's supposed to be the leader. It was my job to keep everyone safe. How am I supposed to apologize to Ryo's parents? 
he really feels like he's responsible for what happened. But it's not like he's suddenly to blame for it. None of us... None of it was his fault. To be honest, I don't think focusing on that is going to help us now. That's the kind of thing we can worry about more after we get back. But that doesn't solve anything, it just delays the problem, maybe. But I have a hard enough time thinking about what to do now. I think you should listen to Takuma. Oh, shut up! What do you know about responsibility? Anyway, sorry, but would you mind giving me a little more time on my own? Are you sure? Yeah. I could use some time to re to think. Alright, that's what Ryo said as well. Shuji. He's not taking this well, and his own strong sense of responsibility isn't helping. Maybe it's best if I just leave him alone for, the, for a while. Okay, that was just not very productive. I feel bad for... Um... What is your name again? I'm so bad with... It was either Lokmon, right? Lokmon or... Yeah, it's Lokmon. What was the other... Damn! I feel bad for Lokmon, because Shuji is completely neglecting Lokmon. Like, actually hating on him. And that that's another reason why, right? Because uh, Ryo did the same thing for Kinemon. And the reason that I'm saying that is because uh, Kinemon, he couldn't, he couldn't talk. Kinemon couldn't talk like the rest of the Digimon, right? But everyone else seems to be go getting along fine with their Digimon. Lopmon actually goes away. What the hell? I think it's a good idea to actually talk to both Lopmon and Ryugin. Guess Agumon isn't here. Yeah. Hey Lopmon. You're in your own? Shoot, you told me to get lost. Sounds like you've got things pretty rough too. I, I only ever seem to get in Shuji's way. It seems like Shuji still hasn't really accepted Lopmon. I hope Shuji starts to open up to you soon. Me too. I'll keep trying to find a way to make it so we get along like you and Agumon. Sounds good. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, but that reminds me. Agumon went off somewhere earlier and he said he has to come back. Do you know where he went? Pretty sure Agumon was headed for the shrine. The shrine? Why would he go there? I'm not sure. I wonder if it's got something to do with what he was muttering to himself about. Okay, so we know where to go next. Uh, I do think I'm gonna go talk to Shuji again. If I can, at least. I can't. Okay, then we're gonna go follow Agumon around. That's perfect! Takuma and the others are sure to love this. But it might... Oh, damn, I can't remember the voice. But I might as well look around a bit more while I'm out there. I'm gonna get loads of good stuff. That's weird. I thought I heard Agumon. Maybe I just imagined it. Who could the little guy have gone off to? Shadow? Yeah, we don't deal with the shadow of some of the Usually I'd go exploring a lot more as well, but I don't really feel like doing that because I already missed like one of the items in the previous chapter. I, 
sure have come a long way looking for Agumon. I doubt he'd have gone much further than this. I think I hear something. Hmm. <laughs> That's him. What is he doing humming to himself out here? Hey, Agumon. Ah! Oh, Takuma, it's just you. You startled me. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing out here? Ta-da! Take a look at all this. What is all this? Well, I was looking for what might cheer people up. And this is all the stuff I found. Wait, is that why you went running off? That's right. Remember what you told me? You said to cheer people up. You said to cheer people up, I should do something for them I'd like done for me. So I've been collecting stuff I felt would help make them feel better. <laughs> oh, sounds like... In his own way, Agumon was being really thoughtful. Thanks, Agumon. I'm sure everyone will love what you found. I hope so. That'd make me really happy. Cute. Let's go talk to some of the other guys. No, this is not gonna do anything. Is that little moment? Maybe I should say something. You know, I won't get along so well, Takuma. I'm jealous. Wait, did that actually cost me? Oh my fucking god! Please tell me I can talk to Shuji now. Wow, well, that is super sad. Um. Let's go to the music room. <laughs> hey, Red Right Hand, welcome to the stream. Sorry for the slow response. Thank you very much. Wow, that was a really, really slow response. I was not paying attention to my chat whatsoever. <clears throat> That's Miyuki and Haru. Should I talk to them? They might have something interesting to say. At least they usually do. I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to see if there was anything that I could take. The answer is no. Hmm. Everyone seems restless. Restless. I worry, Miyuki. I'll always be with you. With you. That's where these two went. Should I say something? Both Haru and Miyuki are kind of hard to talk to sometimes. Although it's nice to see them getting along well. Huh? Miyuki, that song. Hey, Takuma, did you hear that? It sounded like Miyuki was singing something. Yeah, it did. It was too quiet for me to really make it out, but I heard something. Never mind. Was I imagining it? Hmm, Haru doesn't seem too happy, does he? No, if anything, he looks really sad. You think so? Then let's go cheer him up! No, wait, Agumon! Haru, Miyuki! Oh, Takuma, Agumon. How long have you been there? Been there? Not too long. Sorry, we didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. You heard that? Heard that? He's asking about the song, isn't he? Maybe you weren't supposed to hear it. Should I be honest about it or pretend not to have noticed? Then again, I am worried about Miyuki. Maybe I should turn the question back on them. I uh, heard what? Never mind. If you didn't hear, it's that's fine. Seems a little relieved. Guess he didn't want us to hear them anything. Hey, Takuma, why you lie? You said you heard Miyuki singing, too, just... Shh. You heard what Haru said, right? Let's just pretend we didn't hear anything for now. Are you sure? I guess if you say so. Well, not to this, Takuma. I'm sure it will be so just to you. Anti-fire crystal. 
All right, we're going to see how everyone else is doing. But we should talk about the search for Miu. Can you two be in the cafeteria by noon? Me and my sister? Yeah, Kaito's waiting for everyone to get together. And I'd hate to leave you two out. Okay. Okay. All right, see you later then. Let's go talk to Yuji. Yuji? Kaito. Kaito, he looks pissed. What's going on? Of course he's pissed. Kaito is always pissed. It's just me or are we... Yeah, we're looking at the room differently. Oh, hey, Kaito. What are you doing over here? Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to intrude on in you guys or anything. Hey, come on. You're one of us now. No need to hang back. If only I'd seen through her disguise sooner, things wouldn't have happened like that. It's not like it was all your fault. Everyone else got tricked too. None of us blame you, Kaido. I still feel bad about it, okay? I've been acting so selfishly this whole time, only thinking of myself. But I only did it because I thought I would be the one to pay the price. I didn't do anything back there, though it was me who got Ryo into that mess. I'll never forgive myself. No, Kaito, it wasn't your fault. There was nothing anyone could have done. That's right, it was out of our hands. Still, I want to apologize. I feel like there was more I could have done. So, sorry. I've always considered Kaito brash, brash and thoughtless, but really, he's a good guy. With a strong sense of what's right, surprisingly honest and even common sense. Ooh, this is not a... Um... You can be surprisingly honest sometimes, you know? Huh? <laughs> what are you going on about? You're embarrassing me. That's right, Takuma. In his case, it's just that he's too dumb to lie. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear that from you. And yet he always as far as an ear for what Drakmon has to say. You think he has an honest side. But he might get upset if I bring it up again, so I'd better not. Anyway, enough about me. You sure the others are gonna show up? Because I'm not waiting past noon. Okay, I got it already. Man, shouldn't even be wasting time talking like this. How he's angry? Why? I'm sure it's just a cover and he's really feeling embarrassed. What a liar. Hey, I can hear you. And I'm serious about not wasting time. We got enemy monsters and weird fog out there. Yeah, he's right. We've got no end of things to be concerned about right now. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Who were those creepy hands that came out of the fog? That's been bugging me too. Drachmon, do you or any of the others know anything? I'm not really sure myself. You don't know. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. You were trying to cheer me up the only way you knew how. Thanks. Whatever else is true, Kaido and Drachmon make a good team. But for real, man, the heck is this? I can get some whack-ass text, but I can't send anything back to anyone? You too, huh, Kaido? You mean I'm not the only one? Yeah, everyone else too. We were actually thinking of heading to the radio tower, actually. What? And leave me all by our lonesome? We gotta hurry up and save her, oh man. You said you'd wait around till noon, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand the hunt for Miu. I'd be wanting to do the same thing. ISQ, classroom. See, Ayoi and Saki. Should I call out to them? Let's see if there's anything to nab. Sniff, Snoop, can stop them. And be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done, but I could tell. I knew there was something wrong with Ryo. Why couldn't I help him? You're just a kid, Aoi. Don't blame yourself. It's like Aoi is blaming herself. Yeah. You know how seriously she takes things. She regrets not doing more. She's been crying all morning. It's been hard to watch. 
She feels guilty about what happened to Ryo, probably because she is so she's so responsible. I think Labramon is probably right that there was nothing she could have done. But I can also understand how we could feel regret, regret at not being able to do more. Uh, this seems too harsh. We're all responsible. And what's done is done might not ring well with her. Let's try this one. It wasn't just you, Aoi. You all could have done more to help support Ryo. I mean, I couldn't do anything either. Yeah, I figured that would work. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. After all, even I didn't realize Ryo was that far gone. There's no reason for you to take all the blame, Aoi. Takuma, Saki, I... I... Aoi, please stop crying like that. It's just, you're both being so thoughtful while I... I've only been thinking about myself. Please, Aoi, cheer up. I'm the worst. Should I do? I don't know how to comfort her. And if I can't get everyone to the cafeteria, Sunkaido would go off on his own. I don't know what to do. Some good you are at making people feel better. Oh, he still won't stop crying. Yeah, sorry. Couldn't think of the right thing to say. Well, I doubt there's anything you could say that gets through to her right now. Makes you say that. Because I don't think I always looking for someone to say the right thing. What's that supposed to mean? Is this girl... Is this a girl thing, or is Saki speaking from her own experience? Either way. Saki sure does show a lot of consideration for someone so free-spirited. Let's see if this will work. I didn't think you'd care what other people thought, but you sure play close attention. You think so? I feel like it's pretty normal. I don't know. Look at how you're thinking of Aoi, even after everything that happened. Yeah, he's right. Maybe it's just when I see someone who's sad, it helps me realize I need to stay calm. You say so. Anyway, I'll stay here with Aoi. Okay, so that was not the right answer. Labramon and I will be here too. Okay. It's alright, Aoi. Try those tears. Saki, I... Wasn't your fault, Aoi. You didn't do anything wrong. But... There was nothing anyone could have done back there. I want to help too, we all did. It's nice that the girls can comfort, comfort each other like this. I'm really glad Saki is here right now. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Saki and then we go to... Uh, one night just isn't enough to put something like that behind you, is it? Yeah. Still pretty upset about the whole thing, too. Watched as one of us disappeared, then shock. That moment was unbelievable. Ryo was a pretty twisted guy. He was always really grumpy, insulting, and uncooperative. But that doesn't make it okay that he's gone. Besides, I knew what his real problem was. He never knew how to express himself. I guess that side of him kind of reminded me of myself. That's why I stuck by him. Never understood why Saki, so cheerful and outgoing, was always with Ryo. I think I get it now. She must have felt like they were two sides of the same coin. Not that I could ever see it. He was always so lonely. That's why he acted the way he did. That's right. He can be like that, can't they? You could see two for him? Nope, not at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I know that you're really nice, Saki. I know that better than anyone. Nice, huh? Is that what you think, Takuma? Saki seems nice enough to me, but she can be pretty blunt sometimes. Besides, I feel like I still don't know her that all that well. I think she eats. Appreciate the honesty. So. This one? To be honest, I'm not really sure. What? You mean you don't think she's nice? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just. We only recently got to know each other, so I don't think it would be honest of me to agree when I don't know Sakia all that well. Is that your way of saying you want to get to know me better? Maybe, I guess. <laughs> okay, that actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm not sure I get what just happened, but Saki seems satisfied. You know, I think talking with you helps me make, feel, make me feel a little better. Thanks, Takuma. 
No affinity boost, though, which is super sad. <laughs> In fact, I didn't get any affinity boosts, except for Aoi again. Which is not bad, but... Finding all the right answers every time is kind of rough. Let's just go talk to, um... Minoru. Oh, uh, hey Takuma, what's up? Going around checking in on people since nobody came to the cafeteria this morning. Kaido's pretty worked up. He's talking about going to look for Miyu on his own. I see. Then sounds like this is no time for us to remain idle. Yeah, Kaido can get pretty fixated on things, can't he? Especially when it's, when they involve his sister. Yeah, who'd have thought a tough guy like him would have such a soft spot for his sister? Well, this is a nice price. It seems like Minoru is holding up better than I thought. Aoi, just hug the doggo. Just hug the doggo, Aoi. Just hug it. By the way, Takuma, what sort of comics do you like? What? Where is this coming from? I do believe now is an appropriate time for such a conversation. Oh, come on, relax. Besides, there are some things I want to ask because of this situation. I don't really get why he's asking me this, but let me see. I'm not exactly big into comics, mostly just your typical hero stuff. I do enjoy the occasional romantic comedy, too, but I bet Minoru teased me about that. Well, I'll read anything if it's interesting, but mostly in superheroes. Yeah, I knew it. Superhero comics are the best, right? Can you make it back to our world? I've got tons of recommendations for you. So I've got some favorites I've been reading forever. I can never wait for the next issue. Man, I can't wait to find out what happens next. It's just me or does Minoru seem like he's acting a little forced? Anyway, the hero's just the coolest. Like, of all the heroes, I know. It's not even close. Uh, when I read it, I think about how I want to be like that. I'm not even joking. Minoru, please. Alright. You don't really know what we're talking about, do you, Falcomon? Sorry. Man, if only there were comics in this world, too. Ain't that a shame? Do not push yourself too hard, Minoru. What? What do you mean? It's plain to see your heart's not truly in this conversation. No way, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I thought so, he's putting on an act. Minoru, you seem pretty down. <laughs> Guess I can fool you, but you know, it's not just me, it's everyone. One is in bad mood after Rio's disappearance yesterday. And I guess Minoru is no exception. Why couldn't I do anything? Okay, I know I said at the start of the stream that uh, Shuji probably has the biggest mental decline. But he already had that before Ryo's disappearance. Now everyone went from like stable-ish to... <laughs> it's not like Ryo and I ever got along all that well. He was kind of a loser, really. I'm still not thrilled that he's gone. Minru, calm down. It sucks because I knew he was struggling. He had been since we came here. Why did I just keep on ignoring him right up to the end? Yeah, I've been asking myself that too. And I didn't just ignore him. I kept teasing and insulting him, even though he was older. Ugh, I'm the worst. It wasn't your fault, Minoru. You shouldn't blame yourself so much. You don't have to try and comfort me. I know what I did was awful. I don't think I ever treated Ryo right. It's hard to believe Minoru could get this depressed. It's so different from usual. I guess in his own way, he's been thinking a lot about Ryo. Pokemon, I think we should give Minoru some space right now. I concur, yet I believe as long as Minoru can reflect on his actions in this way, his heart is in the right place. So, I'm kind of hoping, maybe... In the first actual mission, in the first chapter with Doku Gamimu, 
there was an option of telling both Minoru and uh, Ryo to come along with me instead of staying at their own locations. And I think if I had gone with that, the chance of Ryo getting as depressed as that he did would have been way less. At least that's what I hope. Everyone's probably in the cafeteria by now. I should head back. Good, you're all here. Well, how can we say no? You seem so desperate. You're one to talk. We're a bundle of nerves until just now. Hey, you promised not to mention that. <laughs> Minoru was pretty upset before. Looks like he's in better shape now. Not to mention the others. Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Yeah. You really bounced back. Good. Glad to hear it. Sure it was because of you, Takuma. Harumuki. Thanks for coming, too. Sure. Sure. So, about is going to rescue Mew. Right? Let me just start by saying something. I really didn't want to get you all involved in this, but... Thanks. Did you guys just hear that? I think Kaito's actually showed some appreciation just now. I mean, no need to be sarcastic. That's right, Kaito. That's right, Kaito was just being sincere. No need to make fun of him for that. Minoru can take anything seriously, can he? What? Don't you get it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, and everyone is really upset right now. Though, sometimes Minoru can go too far. Listen, Kaito, you don't have any reasons to feel like you're dragging us into this. Yeah, we all want to rescue Mew Min anyway. If anything, I think we owe you an apology. We all knew you were anxious to start looking for Mew. Sorry we took so long. No, it's cool. After all, after what happened yesterday, I get it. Anyway, will you help me out? You bet. Hey, not so fast. Look, given the situation, I hate to bring it this up, but... Are you serious about this, Shuji? What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You know how dangerous it's out there? Remember the enemy monsters, the strange fog? What's to say Mew hasn't already wound up like Ryo? Shuji, how can you even say that? <sighs> I'm just trying to look at this objectively. You're saying Mew is objectively doomed? How dare you? Hey, no need for this to get violent. Don't forget we've got little kids here. I'm scared. No, you're not. I'm scared. Sorry. You're saying is one thing I will not accept. I have a responsibility for the lives of everyone here. I'm the leader. It's up to me to weigh the option and make... No, you're not the leader. You are literally... The worst option to be leader, Shuji, <laughs> right now. You cannot make the right decisions here. Don't give me that. You're just looking for an excuse to cover for your own cowardness. Kaido, stop, that's enough. I am not a coward. Maybe a hothead like you can see it, but as the oldest one here, I have a responsibility. Should you please, you should stop too. Shut up, not another word from you. Should you please try not to get so worked up. Kaido has his own responsibility. He's Mew's older brother. That's why he's so desperate. I never thought of that. As if a spineless creep like you could ever understand how I feel. You have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. So now you call me irresponsible? Oh, we're never going to get anywhere if this keeps up. I don't like it when everyone fights like this. Yeah, me neither. Now I should stop this argument before it goes much longer, but how? Should I side with Kaido? Kaido respectfully Shuji's... respects Shuji's opinion. Or try to enlist help from somebody else. Can I... is this a... Oh, this is a question, question. We're going for a rule. Hey, Minoru, say something. What? Me? Right. What do you say we take a vote? A vote? I don't know. People's lives are on the line here. Just get it, Minoru. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Anyway, why don't we split up? Then one group can search while the other stays here. Unlike that, if we're going to look for me, we should all go. How are you against all my ideas? Why did you even ask my opinion then, Takuma? Sorry. Forget it, I know I asked for your help, but it's not worth all this trouble. So long, I'm out of here. Stop going off on your own. Out of my way. Shuji Kaido, that's... 
Uh, are we? Oh, she shut them up. So that's quite impressive. What is the point of you two fighting like this? We're wasting time. Kaido is fighting with Shuji, going to help rescue Miu. Well, no, but... Shuji, you keep talking about how dangerous it is, but dangerous it is. Do you never intend to leave? I didn't say that... Uh, obviously, we need to find Miu. But we also need to try and find a way home, at least. That's what I think. And how you get so quiet all of a sudden? Huh. She was really picking up steam there. But then I guess she got self-conscious. Got nothing to be ashamed of, Aoi. That was incredible just now. I would have done that if I was there. In fact, if I was there, I would have punched both of them in the face. Mean to get so carried away. No, Aoi, you're right. I'm sorry. Too. Sorry, I kind of lost it. It's like, we are all agreeing we're going to rescue Mew. Uh, Minoru? Who gave you the final say? Ah, oh, somebody had to say it, right? So, where do we go? I think yesterday we decided to check the amusement park. Right, according to that Tentamon guy, after Mew got away from Arukenimu, that's where she was headed. It's the one who said it was the shiny place, right? The shiny place? It sounds lovely. But are we sure it's where she went? No doubt in my mind. She always loved amusement parks. So if she suddenly realized one was here, she'd head straight for it. And there was a giant ring in the shiny place. It looked really cool. Besides, everybody knows kids are crazy about amusement parks. Bet you both like them too, right, Haru Miyuki? I don't know. Don't know. Why well, you gotta be kidding me. They don't know. Does that mean they're ne they've never been to an amusement park? Well, it sounds like she probably at the amusement park. We better get going. Bye, everyone. Good luck. Oh, no. I don't think so. You're both coming with us. Ken? Why? Because we can't just leave you on your own knowing there are monsters kidnapping children. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, no objections from me. Me neither. Oh. Okay. Okay. Do we know the way to the amusement park? We saw it from the radio tower yesterday. Finding it wouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure there's a path through the forest that leads in that direction. Right, so we just gotta get through the forest. I'll take points. You guys stay close. <sighs> what is he sighing about? Actually, that reminds me. He was acting kind of weird yesterday. Hey, Haru. What? Oh, yesterday. Uh, what happened exactly? Yuki always... Yuki's always kind of strange, but sometimes Haru just seems off. Like, he'll suddenly say something mature or act like he's seen through things. Not really sure, sorry. Okay, sorry if I bothered you. Is he not aware of it himself? Hey, Takuma, Haru, Miyuki, hurry up or you'll get left behind. Oh yeah, wait up. Come on, you two, we need to hurry. Miyuki, let's go. Go. so depressed. Man, I feel like we've been walking forever, still we're not at the amusement park. It looked a lot closer from up on that tower yesterday, yeah. Are we sure this is even the right way? You think I don't know where I'm going? I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying, we could have gone lost. It's difficult to maintain sense of direction in this forest. Um, you want me to see if there's another way? If you try it and get lost, we'll be in twice as much trouble. Oh, yeah. This is too much. I'm really starting to get tired. Saki, are you alright? Should we stop to rest? We don't got time to rest. We gotta keep moving. Yeah, the sun will set before we're out of the forest at this rate. Sorry, my sister and I can't walk very fast. Sorry, it's not your fault. I think we're all a bit tired. You can't say that again. Kaito, Dragmon, try to be more considerate. Sorry. We gotta keep moving, don't we? Takuma, are you sure we should keep going like this? Actually, I'm starting to get a little worried about that myself. Should we keep on like this or try to find another way? Or should we just turn back? No, we're gonna keep moving, but... 
we're gonna definitely find another way. Why can we not digivolve Hawkmoon into his evolution and let him fly up to see which way we need to go? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Start trying to go every which way, that just makes us more likely to get lost. Things better if we keep on and never get to the amusement park. Now we're going the right way. What makes you so sure? Instinct. You know, I'm impressed you can say that with a straight. F I mean, he was right about our kidney mom, for fuck's sake. That's what he said, instinct as well. Standing around arguing like this is only going to wear us out more. Should keep moving. Just a slower pace. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, boss. Whatever it is, he seems pretty irritated. Try not to antagonize him too much. Yeah, yeah. We made it out of the forest, but... Look at that, there's still no sign of an amusement park. I don't think I've ever been here before. I wonder if there's any neat stuff around. Hey, listen, I don't think I can keep this up for much longer. You don't look so good. Hold on to me, Saki. I think maybe we better take a break. Yes, considering that we may still have a way to go, short rest seem unavoidable. Try telling that to do to those two. Are both pressing on with no sign of slowing down. I can understand why Kaito would be in a hurry, but why should she? My legs are sore. Just shut up and keep walking. She no need to be so harsh. Yeah, she's right. Besides, we're all pretty wiped out. I hadn't planned on resting until we reached the amusement park, but maybe. Like even Shuji is starting to waver. Should we stop for a break or press on? I would kind of like to look around here. Hey, do you mind if I take a look around? Ooh, me too, me too. No? I don't really see the point. How else will we know if there's anything dangerous nearby? Besides, that may be, uh, that way maybe the others can stop and take a break. Is that why you brought that up? So we could rest? That's pretty thoughtful, Takuma. Yeah, Takuma's thoughtful all the time! What are you bragging about, Agumon? <sighs> Fine, alright, let's stop for a break. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything sign of the fog nearby. Yeah, I don't sense anything scary like that. No complaints, Kaido? Nah. Finally, I'm so tired. Saki, are you alright? Niki, Haru, would you like to rest here with us too? Sure. Did that wake them up? Nah, I think they were just walking with their eyes closed. Guess we really wore them out. It was perhaps too harsh a journey for two so young. Maybe, but it's not like we could have left them behind. Speaking of harsh, there's someone else I'm worried about too. I mean, look, Mom. Um, I'm sorry, Suji. I wound up slowing you down again. Just shut up and get some rest. We won't be stopping again until we get to the park, okay? And it sounds like he's still got uh, half it rough between here and the amusement park. But anyways, I better get some rest. They better get some rest. We're not gonna get some rest. I'm gonna look around. They're on break, but maybe I should talk to them. This is the Iron Bridge again. Seems odd to me. There shouldn't be any roads or for cars to travel in this mountain. I'm pretty sure we are getting close though. Okay, let's go talk to Shuji. This dipshit. Oh hey Takuma, something bothering you? I was just thinking maybe you should be spending time with Lobon right now. That's not necessary. It seems like his legs were really hurting him. Doesn't that bother you? So his stupid little legs hurt, so what? He's a monster, he'll get over it. You don't have to be so nasty about it. The stupid thing's nothing but a burden anyway. 
He can't do anything useful like Agumon or Falcomon. I get stuck with low Z monster like him, it's not fair. Like Shuji may need more time before he is ready to open up to Lopmon. That sounds more like uh, he's never going to and he's gonna die at the end of this. was going on with that Arakin woman yesterday. Oh, she did call a sacrifice, so clearly she's an enemy. I wonder why, though. Good question. And by the way, why is it that Falcomon and the others are on our side? It seems like some monsters like Agumon and Falcomon are friendly. Others are willing to help us, even if they don't want to be friends, like Tentamon. And some are obviously enemies. Yet, they're all monsters. It's weird. You think so? I mean, even with humans, some people are good, others are bad. I bet it's the same with monsters. In other words, some monsters like us, uh, like us, others don't, and still others want to use us. When you put it like that, I guess it makes sense. Mountain pass unlocked. Oh, I didn't actually realize we could unlock things. Furry battle. I was wrong! There is at least one more chapter! Oh, Hey, Takuma, I want to thank you for what you did this morning. I remember doing anything special. <laughs> sure you did. You tried to cheer me up along with Saki and Labramon, remember? Only I couldn't seem to stop crying. It was kind of embarrassing, honestly. I've just been trying to focus on what needs to get done. You can see that. And right now our top priority is finding Miu. I'm wondering though, yesterday Tentamon said Miu ran towards Shiny Place. But are we sure that's really the amusement park, huh? Why not? Oh, uh, sometimes Labramon and the others use unique language, which has me worried. That's true, sometimes Agumon says stuff that I don't understand at all. I don't think this is like that though. I mean, we saw the Ferris wheel ourselves. Yeah, yeah we did. You're right, I've probably been overthinking things. Let's get moving again. What? Already? But we just stopped. You had long enough. Besides, we can't be wasting time here when we still got a long way to go. That is right. At this rate, the next thing you know, the sun will be down. That's true. We really shouldn't stop for much longer than this. But has everyone got enough rest? Saki, Miyuki, and Lopmon all seem pretty exhausted. Honestly, currently most worried about Lopmon. He said his legs were sore, and I think I saw tears in his eye. That concerns me. Well, are your legs feeling better? Yeah, I can walk fine now. Did you? I swear I'll keep up this time. Sure, that's the least you could do. I don't see why you're telling me about it. Why does Shuji always have to be so mean? This is proof that he has but little room in his heart. Look, Mom, do not be dismayed. Right, I'll be okay. Well, Shuji is demanding as ever, but it does look like we can get moving. Let me go grab a Milky Milk! Cuz...
everyone seems to be feeling better, better Shuji. Kaito's right, we should get moving. Yeah, who knows what could happen if Miu, uh, to Miu if we waste too much time. You have to tell me that. Let's go, everyone. But... They actually found it! Finally, I can see the amusement park. That took just about forever. Now, so that structure beyond those trees is an amusement park. It's the biggest building I've ever seen! Mew is in there somewhere. Don't worry, sis. I'm coming for you. Wow, Takuma, the giant ring I saw yesterday is here too. Yeah. It's called Ferris Wheel. Look at all the colorful buildings. That's an amusement park for you. Just looking around one is fun. Hey, there's no time to be getting carried away. Sorry. Come on. Ours are harming letting us have a little fun. Minoru, try to imagine how Kaito must be feeling, okay? Hold on, Mio. I'll find you as soon as I can. Kaito, I know you're worried, but try to keep it under control, okay? Focus too much on one thing and you're just asking to get blindsided. I know that! You, on the other hand, could do with a bit more focus, Minoru. You can say that again. Haru and Miyuki are sharper than you, Minoru. <laughs> are they, though? Miyuki, we're almost there. We're almost there. My bad. Anyway, we're not far now. So we got no idea who or what might be inside. We should be careful. This really is an amusement park, even if it does look a bit rundown. <clears throat> Compared to the state the schools in, this place is practically brand new. Seeing that cable car was surprising enough, but something about this place is just weird. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Huh? Why is that? Are amusement parks normally scary? No. It's not the amusement park itself that's creepy. It's more like... I had it in the cinemas a few months ago, but it was only the sub, and I was busy here. For sure, an empty amusement park on totally silence, that's definitely spooky. I can look around on my own if you'd rather not go in. Oh no, I'm gonna be the first one inside. Here goes nothing. Phew! Can you believe this? It gets in for free. Who needs a season pass now? Believable. Did we not establish that we should proceed with caution? Oh, come on. That was nothing. He's trying to play it cool, but I can see the way his legs are shaking. I just pretended didn't notice. So what do we do now? Then we come here looking for Aoi. Yes, that much is clear, but she could be anywhere in this entire park. So we just gotta search the place from corner to corner. Doesn't that seem a little less than efficient? This place is pretty big, why don't we split up? 
Good idea. I'll go with Takuma. I'll go with Shuji. Now we don't know what might happen. They won't want to be separated if there's a fight. You've got a point. We should all stick together. I don't want anyone going missing. With Suji as upset as he was this morning, I wasn't sure what to expect, but he seemed a lot more confident since we got here. It really is assuring when Suji is able to keep it together. We are all going back to our world together, you got that? Yeah, Shuri, I'm pretty sure we've all got that. Hmm. It's gonna take forever, but I guess there are safety numbers. Hehe, <laughs> Shuji's acting just like a chaperone. Alright, let's head in. Are those footsteps? Ooh. You there, halt! Huh, what the? Intruders! Not one more step. What now? More monsters? Oh, those ones are a little on the small side. They're so cute! Um, Aoi? Oh no, I didn't mean to say anything, that just slipped out. See why that would be her initial reaction, but... What are these? Alright, what's going on here? Because if you want to stop me, you're in for a fight. Clearly you're up to no good, that means we're enemies. You are here to be eliminated by orders of Her Majesty the Queen. Leave this place at once. Now, what are they talking about? Well, can they be so sure we're enemies? Who's this queen? Who knows? It's no use trying to play dumb. You can't fool us. But wait, we're not your enemies. Oh yeah? Well, we heard you were bad monsters who kidnapped children. And there's no bad monsters allowed in here. With the kidnappers. We're not kidnappers. Wait, how is this suddenly about whether or not we're kidnappers? Looking for a girl who was kidnapped by Moonstar Arikani Moon. Her name is Miyu. Have you seen her? Arikani Moon? You mean the evil villain? You must be here on her orders! Now the truth comes out, you are servants of Arikani Moon. Well, well. We'll show you. You got it all wrong. Ah, this is going anywhere. Don't deny it. We can see all the kidnapped children you're walking around with. We didn't kidnap them! Hey man, I wasn't kidnapped by anyone. These are our partners. Indeed, these are trustworthy creatures who mean you no harm. Really? But then what's going on? That's not what we heard from the Queen. Oh, what should we do? What should we do? Hmm, this calls for a uh, council of war. Now they're arguing about something. They don't seem like they're all that bad. Looks like they're up to something, so what's our plan here? Maybe we should just hear them out. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, wait. Just look at those little... Two little children they've taken. Yeah, that's right. They're both frozen with fear. Huh? You mean us? Us? They're not frozen with fear. Those two are just like that. How do we convince... You, we haven't kidnapped anyone. But if you really haven't, that would make our queen a liar. What makes you so sure she's not? Silence! Our wise and invisible sorceress of a queen would not speak lies. You're just trying to get on our good side again. You don't really think that. But if we don't stay on our good side, she'll turn us all to stone. Oops, forgot I said that. She'll turn you to stone? You mean you're being threatened? Yeah, that's messed up. Sounds to me like your queen is the real villain. You said it, getting turned to stone sounds scary. Hold on, so this queen really has the power to turn things into stone? That's right, she used her powers to restore her friend who has been turned into a rock. She was has the miraculous power to turn living things to stone or bring them back to life. So even here, there are monsters with that kind of power? I don't care about any of that. Please, could you take us to see this queen? Absolutely not. Who knows what might become of us if we allow you to trespass here? Look, we'll either talk some sense into her or beat her up for you. Now let us through. That solves all the problems, right? What? No, that that's not possible. What do you think? Could this be your chance? Don't get carried away. The queen's not so weak she'd fall for to the likes of them. Right. There's no way. Besides, remember what the queen told us. Big humans are all bad. And these are all big humans, so all of them must be bad. Yeah, no objection from me. Big humans? What's that supposed to mean? It can't just be about size, right? You think they mean adults? No, I hardly call those adults. This is just more and more confusing! Damn it, I don't care about any of this. Come on, let us through already. <laughs> if you want to get in, you'll have to go through us. If that's how it's gonna be, I wish you'd say that from the start. Yeah, that's kind of our strong suit. I don't know, no. Can we just talk this out? That's right, not every problem's meant to be f solved by force. You're trying to trick us, aren't you? You know, I don't see why we can't have the monsters talk this out themselves. That would be ideal. What do you think we do, sh do Takuma? Obviously, it'd be best to avoid a fight, but if they attack us, we'll have no choice. It'd be nice if Agumon could find a way to convince them, though. <laughs> I don't see much hope for convincing them myself. Agumon, can you handle this? Um, I'm not sure, but I'll try. And I'll help. So we haven't kidnapped Takuma or his friends, and we don't work with Aruka anymore. And you expect us to believe that? Well, it's true, we were fighting Arukenimum just yesterday. What? The Arukenimum? That's right, she got away, but we did beat up one of her underlings. We all worked together to take him down. If you're strong enough to beat someone like that... That makes you a real threat! Damn it! I don't have time for this, I'm busting my way in. I guess that's our only option. Come on, everybody, we're fighting our way in. Oh, no, 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 no. What are we gonna do? We can't take them all at once. We'll have to report this to the Queen. Don't you think you can get away with this? Don't think you can get away with this? <laughs> well, so much for them. What's that all about? Beats me. Who cares? Besides, I'm glad we didn't have to fight them after all. Me too. I would have felt bad if it really had to take them on. Yeah, I hear you. Should we just let them go? They said they were gonna report to their queen. Yeah, that does bother me, but still. You don't have time to be worrying about those weirdos. Let's get in there and find Mew. Alright, let's go! Oh, this place is huge! Looks like we found the central plaza, meaning this is the middle of the park. Well, it's hard to say what the layout might be. I only... If only we had a map. Our world, this is where we put on a show and things. What is a show, Minoru? This is when you've got all these characters sing and dance or maybe go on parade. Yeah, and sometimes all these people dressed in costumes just show up out of nowhere. Whoa, that sounds like fun. 
You might even find yourself in the middle of a performance with, like, no warning. Someone could just show up and shout, You there, halt! Not another step. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I could see that. You mean like that? That? Like what? Villains! Stop right there! This time we mean it, you're not getting past us. You don't stand a chance, Greg, on this again. You're the ones who ran away last time. We did not run away, that was part of our very strategic strategy. Yeah. Your strategic strategy? But wouldn't any strategy be strategic? Uh, Shuji, I don't think that's the important thing here. Stop, not, well, not another step. One wrong move and you're asking for it. Asking for what? Y you know, don't think we don't do it. Listen, we really don't want to hurt you. That's right, we tried to tell you that back at the entrance. Look how far you chased us. That's exactly what our enemies would do. What? No, we're just looking... Uh, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> um, Kaido? Talking like this is a waste of time. If you're gonna try and stop us, then I'm gonna beat you down. Uh, it, uh you don't scare me! Actually, you do seem pretty scared. I kind of feel bad for them. Gotta try to calm down, would you? Shut up! Don't you try and stop me either, Takuma. Why? You don't seriously intend to fight these little things, do you? Uh, stay back! Oh, we're not gonna lose to you! After all that talk, I hope you're ready for some action. Kaido's dead serious. Is there any way I can keep this from getting out of hand? I'll get Kaido calm down for now. Even from distance, castle walls appear damaged and weather. It looks just like a real ancient castle. Ooh, consciousness. Wait, chapter two, all in the seasoning? Interesting. The girl I saved, saved set about entreating me. Hey, you're god, ain't you? Save my village, you've gotta. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a god or anything. Saving a human child on the verge of death had gone and treating me like some deity. I don't exactly hate the idea, just how do I put it? It gives me the heap jeebies. Oh, please, your holiness, save us. I'm begging you. As the girl pleads with me, she wobbles on the spot, her stomach growling, so hungry. Uh, hey, pull yourself together. It's food. You need food, right? Until my stomach bursts. It's bad. I've got to do something. I may regret it, but what choice did I have? I had to do something. Hey, wake up. I made some food. Oh, what? What? Something smells delicious. I brought the child to my den. Not just my den. A bunch of my friends lived here too. None of us are very strong, so we don't usually let outsiders in. Still, this child shouldn't be a problem. These are my buddies. All of us whipped up some food for you. Oh, look at all of them. I knew it. This is the land of the gods. I told you, I'm not... Forget it. Here, blessings from the gods. Eat up, short stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, your holiness. The child reached for the roast fish, pinched it around the middle and popped the whole thing into her mouth. Munch, munch, gulp. Mmm, delicious. I've never had things so tasty in my life. You don't say. The baby's pretty hard to find, you know. Here, try something else. Okay. How about this mushroom then? Wait, what? Is this a mushroom? There's a rock on it. Oh, you can't eat those? Then eat around the hard parts. Yeah, let's see, chomp chomp. Ooh, this is great too. Phew. Glad you like it. From the looks of it, you and like this girl can't stomach everything we can. What a shame. The minerals on these mushrooms taste so good. Thank you, my god. This is the first time my belly ever has been so full. Is that right? Glad to hear it. We are different beasts, to be sure. Still, I could feel it's the desire to protect her smile. I was actually kind of surprised that I... Well, now I feel actually kind of bad that I didn't search for the other ones. Fuck it then. Don't try and stop me, Takuma. I've had 
I've had it with these things. They might have been tricked by this queen. Doesn't matter. They're gonna keep me from finding Mew. They're gonna get smashed. What's wrong? Aren't you going to attack? It's no use. I can't think of anything. If you won't strike the first blow, then I will. Bring it on. I've had it with all this blathering. Let's go. Really gonna do this? <laughs> We're really gonna let you have it. Count me in too, Kaido. Uh, Alright then. Time for an all-out attack. Charge! Uh, uh, ooh. It's hard to watch. How's that? Had enough yet? Uh, curse you! This time the queen's really going to hear about this. I mean it. There they go again. They sure told us. They got nothing. Minoru, Kaido, Kaido, how could you do that? What? Hey, why are you mad at us? Seriously, what gives? Isn't it obvious? How could you beat those poor little things so badly? Do you have any mercy? Yeah, always right. They rushed us. Didn't you see that? Back me up, Takuma. What? Why are you bringing me into this? Even if they did charge us, they might not have wanted to, you know? Yeah, I'm sure they're just scared of that queen. She had to go and beat them up. Only because they wouldn't leave us alone. Is that really the right thing to do? I thought they were gonna burst out crying. Well, I never thought they'd be that weak. Maybe you should have fought them, Kaido. Instead of me or Falcomon. It's not the issue here. You might as well have been bullying toddlers. Ugh. I'm sorry, okay? Now listen. Now, no matter what those kids do, you will not attack them. Alright, already. Yeah, what he said. Back me up, boy, Takuma. Hey, leave me out of this. <sighs> so does that take care of that? Because I want to get back to looking for Miyum. Right, yes, let's do this. How do we look for her? This place is huge and she could be anywhere. We'll just have to split up and go corner to corner, won't we? No, we can't split up. It's too dangerous. Then how do we find Miyum? Just have to all go together and check the place I think she might be. Nah, that sounds super inefficient, Shuji. He's right, the park is big enough. Add in checking the buildings and it takes forever, Shuji. Are you sure we shouldn't just split up and look around? But what about the mysterious queen? We'll have to be careful about her, yes. But we've all got our partners. If anything happens, I'm sure we... If we work with them, we'll get through it. Right, I'll protect you, Takuma, and I'll keep Aoi safe. Me too, I won't let any harm come to Saki. Believe me, we all share the same resolve. You bet we do. Me too, I protect Shuji, I know I can. Yeah, right, as if you could have... You should have more faith in Lopmon. About Haru and Miyuki, won't they be in serious danger? We'll be okay. What? I'll be fine, as long as I have my sister. We'll be fine too, right, sis? Right. You heard him. What do you say to that, Shuji? <sighs> okay, okay. But let's not get too far from each other. And if you think you might be in danger, don't try anything stupid. Here to follow those rules. Right, no problem. Alright, then let's search let's get searching. Arumiku, both of you be careful too, okay? I don't know I will try to check in on you, but if anything happens, call for us. You can count on me. Okay, we will. We will. Alright, let's get out of here too, Agumon. Exploration. World map. Park gate unlocked. Park plaza unlocked. Performance base unlocked. Castle courtyard unlocked. Woods by the park unlocked. Free battle unlocked. Let's go outside real quick. There's something here, I can feel it. No, we don't battle. We're not gonna do random battles. I don't feel like that is worth it. Today. 
I will, on the other hand, check every area. But I'm not gonna make uh, roundabout turns every single time. Now we know that that is the stupid evil thing. Castle courtyards. Oh no, it's you guys again! Took the words right out of my mouth. We keep having to run into you three. Shut up, you're the ones who've been following us. No, we really haven't been. Well, it ends now. We won't allow you to go any further. So, what are you gonna do? This time, this time we're really going to eliminate you like Her Majesty ordered. Not this routine again, so what's our move? Let's see what else we can do, but don't you dare. You promised you wouldn't hurt them. Wait, was this the explanation mark? Shit. Give me a sec, where did I go? Where's the autosave? Oh, bullocks. Remember? Oh, I remember. That means we can either try to convince them again, seems unlikely, or we can ignore them. Alternatively, maybe they run off if we try to scare them. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to ignore them. Yeah, that seems like our best option, if you say so. Are you sure that'll work? They won't stop glaring at us. Don't look at them, if we just leave them alone. Turn your back, say! Are you wide open to an attack? Oh, hey, youch! Cut that out! And you like that? Oh no, they look completely unfazed. Yeah, we'll get them next time! Pull back! Retreat! Talk about are you all right? Uh huh? Yeah, I'm totally fine. And what's their problem? I always feel bad for them, you know. <laughs> well, now that they're gone, we should get back to looking for Mew. Hey, Haru Miyuki, are you both feeling okay? You're not too tired. We're fine. Fine. All right, let's get back to it then. Yeah, I actually thought this was. Uh... Some kind of progress shenanigans. Is that Kaito? Maybe I ought to say something to him. Man, where could Mew be hiding? She's not crying somewhere. Kaito always gets this, gets this surprisingly gentle look on his face when he's like this. It's really care for me to act this way. Though, to be honest, from what little I did see her, she struck me as kind of weird. Takuma, why are you staring at my face like that? You've been giving me the oddest looks. Oh, I was just trying to think what your sister must be like. Yeah, what do you want to know? It's hard to know how to answer when he asks me like that. Should I ask what she's like, what she, what he likes the most about her, or... Yeah, and he might make him feel embarrassed. What else is there? I guess I could ask if... Oh, it's any of these? What do you love most about Mew? Huh? What kind of question is that? To look at you, I'd never think you'd be so overprotective of your sister. So I was thinking you must really care for her, and I wondered why that was. Don't get any weird ideas have a thing for my sister, and it's not like I'm all lovey-dovey with her either. So it's just, you know, she's family, okay? I knew he'd get embarrassed. We got the affinity up, though! You shouldn't ask such weird questions. Uh, one thing's for sure, you really do care about her. Ah, all she has. So, I have to look out for her. Nothing left to do here. Well, we can try and make him uh, feel uh, weird and awkward. No, we don't know that. Okay, technically I already checked, and I said that I wasn't gonna do triple 100, 500 checks in the same stage. 
over and over again. If I find something, I find something. If I don't, I don't. Where is Shuji? Huh. When did this little bugger get in here? <sighs> you know what? You're... No, come here, little bugger. Okay, now I lost it. That's not great for me either. Well, if I see it again, he's dead. Instead of trying to save it, should have just gone on to it. this place I've never seen anything like this before it's wonderful you think so it gives me the creeps to be honest nobody's here there's no sound from the crowd still it's kind of exciting to be in a amusement park you like amusement amusement parks too Saki or like I've always liked the idea of them what's that supposed to mean oh uh, never mind forget I said that isn't this wild though I feel like we're Having a whole isn't this wild though? I feel like we have. See, I see a spider, and I get all itchy everywhere. I have the whole place to ourselves. I can almost imagine it as a special event, like a magical night of mystery or something. This is pretty rare experience, and the rundown parts only add to the charm. Yeah, I could see that. But I'm a little worried about you, Saki. Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Why would you think that? I mean... I still wonder how that spider got in after we isolated everything. But fuck it, as long as it isn't in my bed, we'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be obvious after how exhausted she was earlier. But I wonder if she'd get mad if I said her enthusiasm was a little too much. She also seems kind of wistful, though maybe I shouldn't mention that either. Does that mean the smart thing to do is just to say... No reason, I just got that kind of impression. Oh, uh, you did, huh? Boy, somehow I feel, get the feeling I shouldn't push this any further. You know what? Forget it. I'm sure I just got the wrong idea. Never mind. You know, after everything there's been, we've been through since we came to this world, why wouldn't you get excited about being in an amusement park? You know, despite the situation we're in, I'm kind of happy to be here too. Yes, right answer. Yeah, I think it's the same for me. And thanks for not pushing me for more. Did you say something? No, not a thing. What are we doing? We should be looking for clues to find Mew. Otherwise, Kaido will definitely fly off the handle again. Nothing left here to do. Hmm. Nikiharu and Minoru, should I call to them? Never. It's so weird to be here when nobody else is around. Yeah, you're right, it's hard to describe the feeling. It's almost like you can still hear the crowd even though nobody's here. Still, this isn't too far off what I imagine it'd be like if we rent out a park. 
You thought about that, huh? You're secretly a huge romantic or something? Huh? Why would you say that? I mean, normally when a guy rents out an amusement park, it's for a girl, right? Sounds like a fun day to you. I never ever thought about it like that. Oh, then. Who would you take with you if you rent out an amusement park? Can't believe we're talking about this, but Minoru won't let up until I answer. And if I say I'd like to take my girlfriend, I'll never hear the end of it. Maybe I should say Minoru. You might appreciate that. My girlfriend. I mean... And it's not a... Okay, let's go with uh, the plain answer. Because that would be fun, yo, two bros just hanging out. <laughs> what? Me? Why? Well, it was just you and me. We'd be free to relax and have a good time. I hadn't thought about it like that before. We could do a 100th coaster ride challenge. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm the right answer. Good job, Yordi. know if I'd be up for a hundred coaster ride challenge. Ha, ah, don't worry, I was only kidding about that. We should totally run out of an amusement park when we get back. You said it. Isn't that, like, fucking expensive, though? Like, how can you just rent out an amusement park? Now, I think it's time we got back to searching for clues to find new. Better hurry, too, since you wasted so much of our time talking. Uh, so you're saying that's my fault? Mm, gotta find those clues. Gotta find them all. You know... Damn it, we've been through the whole park and not a single clue. Where the hell could Mew have gone? Is there anywhere we haven't checked? I'm pretty sure we looked everywhere. Now what do we do now? I have the obvious answer of where to look. And it's in the castle where the queen is. Because honestly, I think Mew is the queen. She just tricked those Digimon into... <laughs> not me. Are you sure you're not hearing things? I hear them too. Sounds like they're headed this way. Yeah. Don't tell me that's the thing from yesterday. Oh no, not again. It's okay. You don't have to worry. These footsteps sounds more like... Intruders! There you are. Oh, these things again. Again. How many times is this now? Seriously, don't they ever learn? Thought you'd get away with that, with what you did to us before, huh? Well, now we're here for some payback. Look, could you please just leave us alone? I don't think you can escape. This time, of all times, we're really going to eliminate you like Her Majesty ordered. So much for trying to reason with them. They won't listen to anything I say. And I guess I'll have to try. For all I'd hate for us to have to waste any more of our time here. What if we just don't make eye contact or engage with them at all? I feel like that's the best way to deal with them. I could ignore them, but I think I have a better idea. What's that? We lie and tell them we're fo we're fellow servants of the Queen. They seem like they'd be dumb enough to buy it. Hey, what are you whispering about over there? Just going over a strategy. Well, enough of that. Let's see what you got. Takuma, we need to decide on something fast. Could have Shuji try to reason with them or ignore them like Saki suggested. Or we could risk pretending to be fellow servants of the Queen. Always go for the right one. I think Saki has the right idea. Let's just ignore them completely. Alright, I'll try. Hey, why are you looking away? Don't respond. Just don't respond. What's wrong? Can you not hear us? Or are you just not listening? Gotta ignore that too. No reaction. Hey, maybe if we attack now, we can take them. I can hear them, but I'm not going to engage. Take that! Ah, uh, yow! You stop it, that stings. Did you like that? You learned your lesson? Better ignore that too. Arr. Our attacks so weak, they're not worth the response. These humans are tough. <laughs> There's only one thing to do now. Retreat! <laughs> Ooh, 
Why do I feel tired? Yeah, why do you feel tired, Kaido? You weren't the one that got shot at. It's tough having to deal with the same scenario. Next time they try to mess with me, they're not getting off so easy. You don't mean you're going to hurt them, do you, Kaido? I gotta say, Aoi, after all this, Kaido's not the only one who's mad at them. But let's just hope we don't run into them again. I don't know, I feel like now that you said that, we're sure to run into them again. Huh? Why is that? It's like foreshadowing. Yeah, only not like before someone dies, more like before meeting someone. So what happens if you're in this shadow? No, you don't get it. It's like if this were a comic book, that's what would happen next. I guess that's not a very good way of explaining. Whatever, let's get back to looking for Mew. We still haven't found any clues yet. Good idea. Where could she have gone? I think there's something here. I don't know, it's just tick boot. Probably it's nothing but trash there. Ah, huh? see? I bet this will come in handy. Whoa, you're right. Great find, Agumon. One's here. Did something happen? Now let's discuss our current situation. Start to discuss. We haven't found anything, not a single clue. Hey, no need to bite uh, anyone's head off. It's not like you're the only one who's upset. You're right. I'm sorry. You're all trying to help me. I just can't stand this! Hey, don't worry about it. We understand. Though I'm not sure what more we can do. Where else are we supposed to look? Beats me. Then again, I get a feeling we shouldn't stand around here too long either. Why not? Well, it's just a... Uh, hunch, but whenever we get together like this, we also get company. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Right? How could I forget? Wait, I don't get it. If saying we stand around here talking for too long, those pesky little things will... Looking for us? No way, they actually showed up! Seriously? What's, like, instant foreshadowing? Hey, don't act so surprised, you're the ones who called us out here. You didn't call for anyone. You most certainly did. To settle things once and for all. That's right. This time of all times, not any other time, but this time we'll finish you. Because those are Her Majesty's orders. What do we do, Takuma? What do you think? Those stupid, clabbering, pesky little pets, Kaido. Had it with you. <laughs> Looks like Kaido, Kaido finally snapped. If you little twerps mess with me one more time, Kaido, no, please stop. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm done with this. But you're terrifying them. That big human is scary. Oh, Your Majesty, I hate this. They're crying. Crying. Fine, whatever. But the hell are we supposed to do? Go talk with him. You stay here, Kaido. He tried that already and it didn't work. Just let me handle this! Uh, oh great, now Aoi's oh, angry. Now Aoi's oh, getting mad. It's no more than Kaido deserves. Who does he think he is yelling like that? Are you sure about this, Aoi? Of course, it's not like they're really that bad. Listen, I'm sorry we scared you like that. I'm just going to get a little bit closer, okay? I'm not going to try anything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why does she crouch down like that? To look them in the eyes? She's treating them like you would if you were talking to a little kid. She doesn't want them to feel threatened. You know how kids get scared when adults look down on them? Oh, now I get it. Yeah, I think I know what it's like. What, are you criticizing me? I'm never scared when I look... When you look down at me, Takuma. Let's focus on IOE right now. This place obviously means a lot to you, so we're sorry we came in without permission. But we're not here to do anything bad. We're looking for a friend's little sister. Does that sound okay to you? It's really all you're here for? They're actually listening to what Aoi has to say? That's it. We're looking for a young human girl named Mew. Young human girl? You mean like the queen? What? Is your queen a young human girl? That's right, she is! Oh, so maybe the queen will know something about your friend. Yeah, really? You think she would tell us? We'd have to ask her to find out. Would you mind going to ask her then? We could do that. Let's go to our secret hideout and see what she says. Your secret hideout? Okay, we'll go ask. Wait, oh, they ran off. Their queen is a young human girl. Yes, that's what they said. A young human girl just like Mew. I don't like this, not one bit. Uh, why not? Come on, we gotta follow those little guys. But why? I got a feeling I know what we'll find if we do. Lose sight of them, okay? <laughs> and don't let them catch on. Uh, okay, come on, let's do what Kaido says. We gotta follow them so they don't catch on to us, right? I can do that. <laughs> How did they only realize just now, right? Don't think we're being followed, do you? Nah, we're fine. How come? Now come on, we gotta see her majesty. <laughs> Stupid Digimon. Phew, that was a close one. Sure was. Sounds like they didn't spot us. I have to wonder Is though. ASAP, why do they keep walking Seven around the castle? Oh, Takuma, look at that, they're going inside! Oh yeah, they are! So that must be a back door. Since the castle gate was closed, we had no idea how to get in. Apparently this was another entrance. We never even noticed! We sure didn't, but let's head inside. I'm okay, how are you, Sep? There's a spider crawling around in my room. It's small though, but it gives me the gibby-jeebies. This hall really... This hall is really impressive. It's like we're in a real castle. Which way do you think those little guys went? I can't believe we lost sight of them already. Where could they have gone? I'm not sure, but they... Let's try heading further in. Treasure chest. Treasure chests have been placed about the... In about intentionally, probably as decoration. Maybe a monster would jump out if I opened one. Hmm. Now I'm just imagining things. Look, Agnum, just around that corner to the right. Lots of tiny footprints. They must belong to those three. Let's try and follow them. Follow leader, 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 follow leader. So I'm watching this RimWorld streamer when you are offline, of course, and with just one ticket I got into the colony. There was probably like 100 peeps with many tickets going for palm name. I was excited like a little kid. <laughs> nice. Except being excited like a little kid. I don't want to battle. Already way higher level than... What's this? Anti-light crystal obtained. Oops. <laughs> it's 
hall looks a lot like the other one, but it's not quite the same. Seems that way. Man, just how far into this castle are those kids going to go? Anti-light crystal. I thought I could talk to, uh... Cough, cough! <laughs> Ugh. Sure is dusty in here. But nothing seems out of place, I think. Uh-huh. Uh, no, achoo! What a huge sneeze! Hey, I couldn't help it. That's what we call an irresistible force. Talk with the floor, yeah. Say that now, this is bad. They heard that. They heard that. Heard footsteps running in this direction. Our intruders find. Oh man, they're onto us? So much for not being noticed. We better get out of here and start back in first hall. After we made this far, what a waste. That's so funny. Whew. Back this far without being spotted. We'll find out where they're headed for sure. What goes even further in? Oh yeah, and those little footprints keep going too. So if we head further down this way, we should find out where they're going. Let's go, Agumon! I'm glad you find the found a fun streamer, Sep. Castle Path North unlocked. like we found another hallway and still no sign of those guys. I think they went this way. Let's check it out. Yeah, I guess. Saki corner. I feel like if we're talk going to talk to Saki, something's going to go wrong. I wonder what's in this box. Stop! Don't mess with it! Oof, it's surprisingly heavy. Whoa! I think I heard something break. Maybe there was some sort of pottery inside? I'm worried about the noise. You think they hurt? Oh no, I hear their footsteps! Just what I was afraid of. We can't stay here, we'll, ha we'll get spotted. Let's go hide back in the other hall. You mean we'll have to sneak back here again? Oh, I'm sorry. Not even close to my boy, Yordi. What are you- <laughs> I've been watching him for a while, but mostly on YouTube. He's like a Rimmy world god. A thousand hours, he knows a lot. But still learning. Chill stream. Nice. <laughs> I just like messing up. It's a roller coaster right out of sight, that broken window. If it were running, I'm sure it would make. It sure, I'm sure it would make for an impressive sight. You must have gone left around this corner. So there's another hole down this way. Let's go, Takma! Like another new corridor. These hallways look so similar. I think I'm starting to get lost. <laughs> Let's hope this is the last one. Now, come on, we gotta find those little guys. Window and pillar. Let's not. Shit, yeah, okay. Let's for funsies interact with the window. This is just a normal window. It's clouded up, but I can see outside. Yeah, I think I have an idea where we are. Um. Okay, it was not a bad. Direction, I guess. Hmm, I think I see a handle here. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is a door? I almost missed it here in the shadow of that pillar. 
You think this is it? Yeah, I bet it is. Let's go inside. Following the monsters that attacked us, we finally found what seems like a hideout. What is this place? It's like where you expect to talk to the king in some fancy RPG. Yeah, you think that's an actual throne? That's the word for where the king or queen sits, right? <laughs> How can you be talking definitions right now? There could be an evil queen here somewhere. I was still trying out this new game, and mind you, Sep is a very smart person, genius, so I played everything every time on Iron Man, and every time I got smashed by a threat I've encountered for the first time in the game. So next time I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing more... Playing, I'm gonna start from scratch from the first time. <laughs> GG, Seppy, GG. Miu, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Hey, cut, it out, cut it out. Keep yelling like that and the queen's sure to find us. What's going on? Who's making all that noise? Wait, I know that voice. Is that who I think it is up that throne? I thought so. Wait, Miu was the queen? Whoa, no way! I had no idea. Well, who else would it be? Yeah, I had my suspicions too. So did I. I thought it might be her once we heard the queen was a little girl. Yeah, I thought I found that somewhat hard to believe until I had seen for myself. You mean you all knew? Of course, I got it right from the start. No, I knew it way before you guys. I guessed it ASAP. Even before we got into the fucking park. Not buying that from you, Drakmon. Well, now we can be sure the queen isn't some horrible monster. That's the important thing. I don't think Shuji had any idea either. Why are you all barging in here? Mew, I finally found you and you're alright. So glad, I'm so glad you're not hurt. Kaito has tears in his eyes, exactly what you expect out of a touching reunion. There's no touching reunion here. It's glad to see him too. Ah, uh, shut up! Huh. It's the worst. Did you chase me all the way here? You know I did. Come now. Come on. It's not safe for you to be out here on your own. I'm not on my own. I got everyone here. Everyone? What do you mean? You're talking about those little monsters. Well, they did say they were servants of the queen. That's right. They're all my servants. Oh, except for Shyakomon. She's my best friend. Servants? Hey, I said Shakamon was different, didn't I? You tell him, Shakamon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kaito. Another monster! Don't you call her a monster. Shakamon's the only one who understands me. That's right, Miu. So you're the one who put her up to this? Mon's not like that. I don't believe what I'm hearing. You're always like this. You act tough, pick bites, won't shut up, and are so annoying. No, I just... I worry about you. And anyway... I don't want to be around those strangers from some other school. Uh, you mean us? Mio, you can trust Takuma and the others. They're actually really nice. Now, come on, I've been worried sick about you. Stop goofing off, let's get going. You're being bratty about this. It's just making things worse for everyone. Ugh, listen to you. You think you're so much better than me. Well, I hate you, Kaito. So there. Mio so much for caring and supportive brother and sister. These two are out of control. Kaido's always uh, trying to act all cool, but can't keep up in front of his sister, huh? You never can tell what things are really like between brothers and sisters. Strangely enough, out of everyone here, Shuji seems the most calm. But I should be focused on what to do in this situation. So, what do we do about this? It doesn't seem like Miu is just going to give up. I wonder... I was wondering the same thing. Kaito is in much shape to help right now, right now. <laughs> much... She hates me. She said she hates me. Kaito, really? She dealt him one heck of a blow. Miu might just be the strongest one here. 
So, what are we going to do? She's still just a child, we should scold her for acting out uh, without even listening to her side of things. You'll probably just make her more upset. What concerns me most of all is Mew's lack of any sense of danger. It's kind of amazing she wasn't scared on her own, even with Shakomon and the others. Maybe we should explain to her just how dangerous this world can be. Don't you think that's it'd be faster to tempt her with stuff? She's still a kid after all. Hiram Miyuki said we had toys and candy, I bet she'd love it. I don't think so. I'd rather play with my sister. Play. Right, I forgot you two were like this. Okay, enough whispering. I, it's getting on my nerves. Get out of here already, or else. I'm not sure what she's got planned, but she's up to something. What do we do? Whatever it is, we need to act fast. Should we scold her? Like Shuji thought, empathize the danger, like Aoi. Or maybe take Minoru's approach and try to appeal to her. If you come with us, we've got lots of great food you could eat. I don't need your food, I've got lots of sweets, and that's all enough for me. And sweets all day is the best! Is that healthy? See? Do you try to lecture me about that? Well, nya nya! Oh, come on. Don't you want some nice warm soup or a juicy piece of meat now and then? Nice warm soup and a juicy piece of meat? That's right! We may not have the best ingredients, but I always cooking is delicious. I'll be happy to cook for you as best as I can. It does sound like maybe it could be nice. Ah, vegetables? No thanks. I'll stick with my sweets. Oh no. This is with you and vegetables, man. I feel like we're almost at her there. <laughs> Fucking you. Um. So what's the game called, Sep? What what kind of game is it that you're playing? Should have known my brother and his friends would be annoying. Sounds like she doesn't like us at all. Yeah, this could be bad. So, what we do, Mew? Isn't it obvious my brother is always, always worrying about me? Well, I've had enough of it. I can take care of myself. I'm gonna hit the switch. No, wait, Mew, stop! This is your brother! Don't you think that's going a little far? Oh, it's fine. It's not gonna kill him or anything. Mew, what do you think you're doing? Just something that'll get you out of here. Alright, now so long! Whoa, you really did it. Did what? Huh? Wait, what? What's happening? Yuki, hold on to me! The floor just tilted. Is this some kind of trapdoor? <laughs> yeah, I said your name. I said, what, what's this game called that you're playing? I'm falling! <laughs> oh, Mew. Um, little. Guess she dropped us down here. War tales. Where is here exactly? Is everyone okay? Miyuki, Haru, I'm here. My sister is too. Do glad you're all right. From what I can tell, everyone is here. Man, why would the castle in an amusement park be set up like that? It's RPG, open world, and it has an Iron Man mode. Iron Man mode? Jesus, man, why would a castle and amusement park be set up like that? In this world, it seems to make just as much sense as anything else. Then again, maybe someone made some modifications. Ooh, monsters? You think we could make something as impressive as this? Who knows? After all, how would I know what sort of things you monsters are capable of? Well, yeah. It's kind of survivalish game. Nice. Game is... I like have Iron Man. Okay. Well, your sister sure is a piece of work, Kaido. I'm sorry, she hasn't always been like that. Just... something happened. Like what? She's been through a lot. That's why I swore I'd always protect her, no matter what. Not that I've done a great job. Kaito does seem upset when he talks about Mew. Wonder what happened, but I probably better if I don't cry. Well, I don't know what it is that you and you are dealing with, but I think maybe you got a little overprotective and it backfired on you. You think so? I just worry about her, that's all. Well, sometimes I can feel suffocated being on the other side. 
sometimes it can be suffocating at being at the other side of that. It was just me or did Saki look really sad when she said that? Saki, something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. Maybe I just imagined it. No, uh, she's been on the other side of that. Anyway, we need to think up a way for us to get out of here. Is yes, we cannot simply stay here forever. Now why don't we all try looking for an exit? Got it! So we're all in search again. There must be a way for us to escape. I should take a look around. Can I talk to Iron Bars, Pillar, Floor? Bit. Ah, looks like this isn't it either. Yeah, apparently this is just an ordinary bed. And a real beat up one at that. Still, the sight of it oh, makes me feel sleepy. Want to take a nap on that? I don't think that's the best idea. Hey, just said make me feel sleepy, okay? Come on, we should search somewhere else. This block looks like it should move, but it won't budge. Think there's some trick to it? Let's keep looking around. Yeah, I'll see what I can find too. Good thinking, you never know what you might find. Hmm, everything seems normal here. It's no use, but we're never going to find any clues about how to get out of here. Try not to get too wound up. Let's just stay calm and keep searching. Oh, shut up! This can't be happening. I have to find a way out. I have to get everyone out of right now. She seems like he's not doing so well. I feel bad for poor Lord Montu. I wonder if it's because nothing's been going Shuji's way. He seemed like he was finally starting to settle down year earlier, but I guess he's still pretty shaken up after all. Checked the floor, the pillars, bars, and the walls, but found no exit of sign of an exit. Man, I give up. These bars can't hold me up, bust right through him. Kaito, what are you doing? Take this! Hey, wait, stop! The noise is really scary. Scary. Harumiki, just deal with it. Think so? That hurts my ears. Yeah, mine too. Kaito, give it a rest. You're going to hurt yourself. And it's not like you're actually going to kick your way through sturdy iron bars. So what else am I supposed to do? Well, now, if it isn't more creatures who've suffered at the hands of her rowdiness. Who are you? Show yourself. GG Mom! Don't be alarmed, I'm not an enemy of yours. Whoa, look at all that hair! Who are you? No, no, no need to get all flustered. I can explain everything in time. Yes, all in good time. But first things first, I should release you from this cell. Huh? Come along, this way. He really just let us out. Who is this old man? It's not an old man. It's an old ass Digimon! <laughs> Very good. Now the exit's over this way. We all left the cell as the old man suggested, but hey, should we really just be following this guy? This could be another trap. <laughs> What's that? Am I so suspicious? Yikes, he heard me. How can you expect us to trust a monster like you? Shuji, you don't have to put it like that. Yeah, it's not... If nothing else, he at least let us out of our of that cell, didn't he? But how do you know he's not taking us someplace even worse? Have you all forgotten what happened yesterday? Remember how Arukenimon tricked us? How much we suffered because we trust her? Well, no, but... Shuji does have a point. We did get tricked by Arukenimon yesterday. No, we didn't get tricked. They got tricked. They were the dumbass. If we'd let Ryuji kick her fucking face it not Ryuji. What's his name again? Kaito. Why the fuck am I saying Ryuji all the time? I've played too much Persona 5. If we had Ka let Kaito beat her fucking face in, nothing of that would have happened. The results were terrible. But should we let that make us paranoid? Well, I won't force you to come with me. What is it you propose to do? We don't have many options if we want to leave. I feel like we'll have to trust him, but Shuji could be right about this being a trap. In this case, should we find our own way out? 
Way to be used in a better mood. What if we went back into the cell and waited for Mew to change her mind? We just got out there. I really want to be locked up again. I'm sure Mew doesn't mean us any real harm. After she's calmed down, don't you think she'll come talk with? You don't know what you're talking about. If we wait for her to change her mind, we could be in there for days. You really think so? She's extremely stubborn, plus... She's always been the type to forget about everything else once she's... Once she's in something. I'd hate to rot away in that cell until Mew decides to free my mummified remains. Which may well be real possible. Which may well be a real possibility. Why not just follow along with me for now? Yeah, let's do that. Now then, shall I resume escorting you out of this place? Yes, please. Would you mind telling us about yourself as we go? Yeah, it feels safer if we knew more about you. Very well. I suppose I can tell you about myself along the way. Ooh, start with your name. Tell us your name. I am Gigimon. So, Gigimon, sorry to ask this again, but why did you let us out of that cell? Aren't you one of Mew's servants or whatever? Ho oh, ho! Oh! I'm actually the one who was more or less in charge here until recently. You mean you're like the old king? Oh no, I simply tried to ensure that small and weak creatures could live here in peace. Then why is Mew the queen? All the little monsters we ran into were scared of her. I'm afraid those I looked after are rather simple-minded and gullible. They were easily taken in. Yeah, I can see that. The rowdiness companion is quite sharp. She pretended to have been turned into a rock and faked her recovery. The others now believe her rowdiness to be a sorcerer. Wait, you mean all Shakamon did was open and close her shell? That's what they meant when they said she turned things to stone? Wasn't even some powerful monster ability? Wow, the monsters that live here really are dense. That's why... And why didn't you do something? Weren't you the one who's been taking care of them? Well, they all seemed like they were having so much fun. I didn't see the harm in it. I took it as an opportunity to retire. Meanwhile, look at how things turned out. You should have stepped up earlier, right Kaido? Nah, if anything, I feel like I owe this guy an apology. Sorry my little sister caused you so much trouble. Well, I hardly even know what to say to that. Don't worry about it. No, you don't understand. You see, I was rather enjoying myself too, you were. Yes, you see, her rowdiness doesn't do any sort of cleaning or picking up after herself. It's given me the perfect excuse to help care for the others even more. <laughs> it's like you're the stereotype of some kindly old man. Well, sorry, but she's my little sister and I'm gonna get her to come back with me. Yes, yes, I understand. That I will leave to you. I'm sure you'll think of something. What? You're not going to offer to help us? Or anything? Am I not taking you to the exit as we speak? Oh yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. And would you look at that? We talked for so long and now we've reached the next path. Is it still a long way to the surface? Oh, it's not much farther. But I'd better stay with you to be sure you don't get lost. Whoa. Having Gigimon lead the way was definitely the right choice. <laughs> Hang in there. By the time we reach the end of this path, we'll be at the surface. Ah! Howie, are you alright? What happened? Oh, it's nothing. I just tripped. Sorry. I'll be more careful. Kind of hard to walk down here, isn't it? Yuki, you watch your step too, okay? Okay. Yes, this area is prone to collapse. I'm afraid it's aging rather poorly. This place is pretty beat up, isn't it? It is. I remember the state of the school was a surprise, and this place is much better. I wonder when they built this park. Yes, well, it's been decades since we started living here. Wait, did you say decades? Is that a long time, Takuma? It's a super long time. Indeed, but the way time is reckoned here in our world may be different than in yours. Still, by my recollection, this park has stood here for several decades. Does that make any sense? Who could have built this place so long ago and how? How do they make them in your world? Well, adults use all this heavy machinery like 
huge cons like a huge construction project. In other words, such places are not built in a day. Exactly, it takes years to build an amusement park. Well, maybe it's a mistake to think of anyone actually building this place. What do you mean? Like, all sorts of crazy stuff happens in this world, right? So what if, to use an extreme example, this place just suddenly appeared one day because of some mysterious power? Doesn't that seem like how things work here? You think the same thing happened with the school? That it wasn't built, but created by some strange power? It does seem possible. You've been around since before this place was here, right, Gigi? Oh yes, why do you ask? Can you tell us anything about how it was made and how much time it took? Ah, but first you must... Uh, but first you must first understand the nature of this world and how it came to be. The nature of this world? Another huge topic. According to legend, this world was created long ago by a supremely powerful being. You could say this being was like a god, indeed. It was a god from our perspective. If this being created your world, then schools and amusement parks would be easy. That could explain why the cable car was running too. And why the food and the medicine are fine even though the school is old and run down. So wait, you're saying this has all been the work of a god? Who else do you think could do all this? I mean, didn't I didn't have anything in mind, but I never thought we were dealing with a god. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, this godlike being faded away long ago. And the current caretaker of our world likely, world likely wished to reshape it into its preferred form. So he's saying the creator of this world and its caretaker are two different beings. Then maybe we're not dealing with a god, but still. Sorry, but I don't get it. Really, you don't? <laughs> I thought for sure you were following all this. How could I? I mean, I don't see how any of this still fits together. I didn't get it either, sorry. I ah, don't worry about it. This beyond all of us. I see, while I'm afraid I can't explain things any more clearly than I already have, I'm not sure if I learned something from all that, or if I'm more confused than ever. Agumon, you seem like you've been thinking things over for a while now. Hmm, you're right, he does seem thoughtful. <laughs> I guess the conversation was just that hard to follow. It's funny. Hmm, what's funny? I wonder why. What is the Agumon? Did something Digimon say... Did something Digimon said make you realize something? Oh no, I've, I'm talking about this funny feeling I've got. You mean you haven't been paying attention? Never mind that, what is this feeling of yours? Something around here just isn't right. Now that you mention it, I sense too. Yeah, something is off. I feel it too, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like hard to describe. I don't like it. There must be something to it if you can all feel it, but what could it be? We don't really know. You think we should look around? Sorry, Takuma, but I want to get back to Miu as soon as we can. Oh, right, we should do that. We can talk. always take the time to investigate later. My bad, Kaido. Let's start by going back to the see Miu. We're approaching the exit now, but don't get too far behind. Phew, so this is where it comes out. Hooray! It's so bright out here! It feels like ages since we last saw the sun. Maybe it's been longer since we got dumped on the ground than we realized Miyuki is too bright. Bright. Oh, I must say, it's a little bright for me as well. So what's our next move? We find Miyu and get her to come with us. Yeah, that's really our only option. I think we'll be able to... Able to with the way she's been acting. She didn't seem like she was interested in hearing any from us. Miu can be real stubborn when she makes up her mind. She isn't going to want to listen. But what else can we do? If only there was some way we could get her to listen. Hey, what if we won over Shakomon? Uh, you mean, got her on our side? Don't you think that'll be even harder? But remember how Shakomon tried to stop Miu before she activated the trap? Doggy! No doggy anymore. It could be worth a shot. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I believe I'd better return to the castle. Wait, Gigi Moon. Uh, it sounds like you've been looking out for Miu, and you helped guide us all the way here, so thank you. Oh, don't mention it. Alright, everybody, let's go pay Miu another visit. Wait, Takuma, are you? What's wrong? Yeah, seriously, you look surprised by something. What are you looking at? 
Wait, what? It's those little guys. Ah! Help, I'm scared! One Mew said we're our servants. Um, well, if it isn't Palmon and Patamon. They've been following us? I don't think so. They look terrified. Yeah, they seem totally panicked. Run away! Enemy attack! Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's you. Well, we've got bigger things to worry about right now. An even more dangerous group of enemies is here. What? Who is it? Who's here? The kidnappers. They're after the queen. They came out of nowhere, surrounding the park and pouring in from every direction. We faced them down back to the... Faced them down back by the throne, but the queen's servants were all done for. Think it's them? It sounds like Ira Kennymon and her minions. You gotta be kidding me. Talk about bad timing. This can't be happening. You mean we've got to go up against them again? So they're attacking in order to get to Mew? Yes, they're after the queen. But we shouldn't be standing here talking like this. We need to run away. Hey, wait! This is bad news in danger. I have to go save her. Wait, you're just going to abandon those poor little things? Can you hear the kidnappers are after Mew? Yes, they are after the human child. Pell and the other shouldn't come to much harm. Rushing to a rowdiness site may be for the best. But shouldn't we at least come up with some kind of strategy? We need to get the lay of the land figured out how many we're up against. Yeah, and didn't they say Mew servants were all done for? They may already have her, in which case we should prior No. We don't have the time to argue about this. Mew's life is online. What now? This is the worst possible time for Come on. There's no time, we have to go now. Takuma, what's your take? You always got the most level-headed opinion. What should we do? I don't have time to think it over. I don't think it's prob hey, I do think it's probably the best priori to prioritize saving Mew. But then again, it's really dangerous to move with no idea where the enemy might be. Now I know Yordimon is not a Pokemon, he is a Digimon. Listen. Heck yeah, finally. Now we're talking. No. Okay, so it doesn't... Uh, we're going to get our information. What if we got a bunch of intel on the enemy to help us save Rescue Mew? You really think that's what we should be doing right now? Yeah, it'd be thing, one thing if the enemy hadn't attacked yet, but now it's too late. If we change charge in blindly, we'll be in danger. I should think Herodinus is the one in the most danger right now. Well, you might be right. It must be terrifying for her to be on her own right now. If we're not going to save her, what's the point? Minoru. Takuma, I changed my mind. We have to go save her, Minoru. All right, let's get in there and save her. Thank you. Thank you all. Jijimon, thanks for all your help. We're going to hurry back to Miyu. Not so fast. What about those two? Oh, you mean Haru Miyuki? Don't worry. My sister and I will keep up. Keep up? Hmm. No, I don't like it. I'd better go with you. Alright, let's hurry back to the throne room. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna need your help just a bit longer. Mew, are you okay? Give me a sec, sorry. Answer me! There's no sign of Mew anywhere. Oh no, it's more of them. Uh, it's Biomon. Hey, you over there. Eee! Don't be scared, Biomon. I'm right here. Phew, you guys really scared me. Where's Mew? What happened to your queen? The queen is in hiding. You mean she escaped? That's right, she took off real quick. Yeah, that sounds like her. She always has been good at running away. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope she's okay. For what must have been a snap decision, it sounds like she made the right choice. Yeah, we still cannot be sure of her safety. That's true. There's no telling how long she'll be okay. I've got to look f out for her. She might be fast, but she's still kids. She can't have gone that far. So do we search the park again? We'll have to. It'll be tough with all the enemies, but we got to split up and find her. In her circumstances, I don't see any other options. Leave this to me. I've got every inch of this place memorized. Let's go find Mew before the kidnappers get her. I'll find some way to help too. Aru Miyuki, we'll need you two to help out again. Are you both okay with that? Yeah, we'll help. Help. It starts to get dangerous. Me and Takuma will protect you. Thanks, Takuma. Alright, everyone, let's go. Exploration. 
world map. Park gate. Let's go talk to all of them, just for shits and giggles, see what happens to the little kid. It's also getting dark. Oh, oops. Hey, that's Beumon. Seem seems her too. Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry, please. I don't know where Her Majesty is. Please, no more. Beumon, hang in there, huh? What happened to the enemies? They also was around when we got here. What happened? Bad guys attacked us out of nowhere. They wanted to know where to find the Queen. Did you tell them? No, I don't know where Her Majesty is, but she should still be inside the castle. Got it, thanks for telling us. Come on, Agumon. You won't stay safe. I will. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. No, this is nothing. I'm fine, really. What should I do? I'm pretty sure I have a solve. And again, Petamon says... Petamon? This is not Petamon. Okay, that's a typo. You know, I can treat that wound. Let me take a look at it. But, no buts. Okay, good. Self should be able to take care of this. Now, this may hurt a bit, but bear with me. Oof, that stings. There. Now you should start feeling better. Ooh, thank you. We're going to get moving now, so take care of yourself, Beamon. Yeah, leave the rest to us. Oh, this might actually give us the chance to get them to join us. I have plenty of souls, anyways. What happened to the little kid? First, explore the area. Vexing Aegis Crystal. Nothing. That's mom. Well, what are you still doing here? I, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Hey, we're not about to run off while evil ones start attacking to try and get me you. But aren't you all villains? No, that's what we've been trying to tell you. What? You mean it? Does, does that mean you'll help defend Her Majesty and her servants? Of course we will. Oh, good. Majesty should still be in the castle. She never came through here. Protect her. Panamon, hang in there. Those wounds look awful. I know. I have a solve. If I use it, it would mean saving. But what if I use it now and then Agumon or one of the others needs it later on? We're gonna treat the injuries. Do you know how many solves I fucking have? I have fucking 14 self packs. 13 big bandages, and 36 bandages. This is no time for me to be stingy with selves. Hold on, I have some medicine for you. Where are your most hurt? Oh, but I couldn't... Takuma's right... Takuma, right here. There's a bad wound on one of Padamon's forelegs. Got it. This may sting a bit, but bear with me, okay? Ow, but... Thank you. I promise... You will save everyone. You, Patamon, and Biomon. Takuma, look over here, it's Pelmon. Those wounds look awful. Hey, are you okay? You, what are you doing here? Looking for me, you. But your wounds, did the enemy get you when they attacked? When poor assault, they wanted me to say where Her Majesty was. I told them I didn't know, they tossed me aside. I know those things are monsters, but how could they do such a thing to a small child? Pretty sure I have a solve. If I could use it to treat those wounds, but I need to hurry and... No, I can't just leave the poor thing like this. Palmon, show me where you're hurt. I'll treat it with the solve. Oh, on my leg. Right, this may sting a bit, but bear with me, okay? Mm, ow. Sorry, but that should help you feel better. Reverse attacking their vicious enough that they even hurt Palmon. If we don't find Mew soon, she'll be in real danger. Now we have to find Mew, so we'll be going on ahead. Wait, if you're looking for a Majesty, you should search inside. Inside the castle? Right, I don't... 
think she went outside. Got it, thanks. It doesn't actually open up the castle. Ooh, got the one. So we're just going to the park gate first. I don't think there's anyone here, Takuma. Hasn't been that long since trouble started inside the castle, so you might not have made it outside. Should we stick to searching inside the castle? Yeah, let's head back in. SQ, what have you been up to today? Central Plaza. I see Kaito. Has he learned anything, I wonder? Vexing Aegis Crystal. Actually, did I ever change... Yeah, because I got a Vexing Potency Crystal, right? Oh no, it's plus 15 on the 30. Okay, never mind, I said nothing. Dad, where could Miyu have gone? He's pretty small, so she's really hard to look for. Can you think of anywhere she might have tried to hide? No, honestly, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I know I'm her big brother. Hey, it's okay. Just because you're related doesn't mean you've got some telepathic link. What do you know about it? Kaido, you don't have to snap at him. Rekman was right, and Shuji, didn't you say something like that before? Oh yeah, well, I've got an older brother myself, and the two of us never really got along. I don't even know what to make of the expression on Shuji's face right now. Does he really not like his brother? Is that because his brother is a real scary guy? Or did they rub each other the wrong way? Could his brother be a disappointment? I admit I'm curious. Is he annoying? Is he a disappointment? Let's go with is he annoying. You two just rub each other the wrong way? Yeah. I can't say I've ever thought of anyone in my family that way. Is that not... It's not that weird, is it? Just because you're all family doesn't mean you can't drive each other crazy. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you heard me earlier, right? She said she hates me. And that I'm pain. Maybe she and I just can't get along. You two aren't like me and my brother. If anything, I'm jealous of what you have. Anyway, my brother and I don't get along too well. You fight with him a lot? It never came... Never even came to that. He wouldn't sink to that level. Oh, well, listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said what I said you didn't know anything about it. Let's not worry about me. We need to find Miu. Yeah. But how do we look for her? We don't exactly have time to comb every inch of this place. Then why don't we focus our search on the inside of the castle? What makes you think we should do that? It's absolute chaos outside. I think we would run in... I can't think we would run into the middle of all that. So you're saying there's a good chance she's still somewhere inside the castle? Yes, although it's just a chance. No, I think you're onto something there. So we're going back into the castle? Yeah, and as fast as we can. Throne room unlocked. <laughs> Talking to everybody. Yes, could you please tell us? She's hiding somewhere inside the castle. Could you be more specific? Find her before she gets taken away. We want to protect her. Would you tell us where she is? I've told you all I know, really. I have other things to do, so could you leave? Here, I'll give you this. 
fuck kind of answer is that? I don't think it's easy to fix. Wait, did I? Yeah, I checked the area. Is that Minaroo? Maybe I should talk to him. Minoru, hmm? What's this? Minoru, what is it? Check it out, Takuma. I found this thing. This is not very descriptive. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but I bet it will come in use somehow. Acceleration charge? What the hell is that? Man, we're lucky I spotted it. That's why we always check everything. Uh, enhancements. Oh, here, acceleration charge. Race movement speed one square. Interesting. Could be useful. Ah, Saki, are you right? Yeah, sorry, I tripped over something and almost fell over. You have to watch your steps, Saki. The ground is all uneven here. Got it already. So, is this what you tripped over? Looks like it. What is even that thing? I'm not really sure, but why don't you hold on to it, Takuma? You never know when it might come in handy. That's true. I think I'll hold on to its skill crystal. There's a little one, should I say something? Always talk to the little one. Also, we found boost seeds. Okay, nothing else. Oh, it's it's you. Perfect timing. Have you seen you? You mean her majesty? Right, we've been looking all over for her, but can't find her anywhere. We need to find her before the enemy does. If you know anything that might help, please tell us. Well, she should be hiding in the safest place there is. Takuma, worst safe place there is. Not sure, that's too vague. But we'll keep that in mind, thanks. Well, she should be hiding in the safest place there is. There's a little one. Should I... Skip something, yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Trying to save Mew, obviously. Really? You're not just saying that so you can hand her majesty over to the bad guys? No way, we wouldn't do that. Mew's telling the truth. So if you know where Mew's hiding, could you tell us? Well, well, I'm not supposed to say, so I won't. If the bad guys take her away before we can find her, that'll never happen. Nobody would ever think to look in that place, in a place like that. It's like she's hiding in some unexpected location. That doesn't tell us much. Unexpected location. Could she have jumped down? I swear, I could have sworn Mew would have been here, in here somewhere. But she's nowhere to be seen. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no one here. Scare, where could she be hiding? Found her. Wait a minute, what's up, Agumon? Wasn't the lid on this box opened first? I think... Something from inside the church. I heard it too. No, 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 I'm sure you just imagined it. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any hidden devices or any sign of you. Well, of course not. Her Majesty's not hanging there. She's in... I forget I said anything. I don't think so. You know where she is. You should tell us. Well, I don't. Wouldn't it be funny if she said she's in another castle? Hey Takuma, doesn't this place seem a lot messier than before? 
Yeah, now that you mention it, there's stuff scattered all over the place. It's just because of me. I, I like to make a big mess. She won't make eye contact and she seems really flustered. That's pretty suspicious. She's in the box. Why are you checking the treasure chest? What good could that do? <laughs> Sounds pretty suspicious to me. I think I see what's going on here. Is oh yes. Really pretty obvious. We're just going to look around a bit more, okay? Uh, no, not okay. <laughs> Isn't here and she's certainly not stuffed in some treasure. That was really loud. Uh, yeah. Takuma, this is about as suspicious as it gets. Tell me about it. Be honest, Mew's hiding in here, isn't she? The queen would never hide someplace like that. Now all of you get out! Yikes. back again this is the third time now just give it up already why is there some sort of problem sure is i'm not supposed to open <sighs> she let it slip again you're a terrible liar right so we'll be opening this chest no oh no you opened it <laughs> what <laughs> she really inside Really hiding inside that treasure chest. We yeah, finally found you, and you're all right. Guy, you came back. Of course I did. You think I'd leave you on your own with all this going on? Not again, why are? Why do you always have to act so tough? Both with me and the little ones. Talking about. I've just been worried about you, Kaido. Try rephrasing. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled like that. That was wrong. But I need you to listen to me. We don't have time to argue right now. Are you trying to fool me by acting all nice? Well, I can see right through you. Yeah. Please, would you just listen to me? No, besides, you're still gonna tell me to stay with you because it's so dangerous. And try to take me away. Well, I don't want to go. I'm staying here with Shakamo forever. You, I don't think you understand yet just how dangerous this place can be. Yeah, there are enemies that kidnap children and this weird fox that's really scary. Well, I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but this place is tons of fun. Not like that boring Hickville I was in before. Plus, there aren't any bossy adults. I'm surrounded by all these cute stuffed animal things, and they do whatever I say. <laughs> Monsters like Jijimon and Pamon. Yeah, Jijimon actually listens to me, unlike my brother. And the others are all cute. I love it here. Boy, how deluded can you get? It may take some time to convince her of the truth. <sighs> Perhaps I shouldn't have humored her so much. You, you don't understand. There you go, talking down to me again. You're the one who doesn't understand, Kaido. You don't know how I felt about any of this at all. You, you need to cut this out right now. Why can't you just see I'm worried about you? There you see? Why are you always so quick to yell at me? I'm sorry. This is why I can't stand you, Kaido. There, there, Mew. You. you must have been very scared. But now, we can't just calmly work this out. We have to get out of here. Mew, I understand you're upset with Kaido, but I want you to understand that we all just want to take you somewhere safe. Yeah, right. Why should you even care? None of you even know who I am. This has nothing to do with how well we know you. Now, that doesn't make any sense. And you go on and on about how dangerous this place is, but everything here is just cute. There are lots of big dangerous things in this world, too. Yeah? Sure. At first, I was pretty scared when that spider lady showed up. Then Shakamon came and saved me. Yes, dealing with someone like her was easy. So Shakamon didn't have any trouble with Arakenimon? That's pretty impressive. Still, who knows what other monsters might be out there. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere. As long as I have Shakamon and the others, I'll be fine. Do you even know how much those cute little things you like so much are suffering? What? They all got her trying to stop the enemies attacking the park from reaching you. If this keeps up, those cute little servants of yours might not survive. Saki, are you sure that's not li going a little too far? 
Now, I think we need to be very clear about what staying here could mean. After all, it'd be too late once all our monster friends are dead. What do you mean, dying? Palmon and Palmon got out, taken out? I don't believe you. It's not true. It can be true. They're lying, aren't they, Jijimon? Everyone's fine, right? Uh, well... Mew, we're not lying. That's how dangerous these enemies are. No, it can be true. This place is supposed to be any fun. It's supposed to be safe. Mew. What was that? An enemy attack? What's going on? The whole castle is shaking. Oh no, this can't be happening. Seen start to fall down? This bad everyone outside. Miyuki, this way. We better get moving too. What? No, wait! You stop! Not that way! Look out! Saki? Saki, Mew, are you alright? Oh, <laughs> I'm okay. Though, I think I sprained my leg. What about you, Mew? Are you hurt there anywhere? No, I'm fine. Get away from there, now. More pieces are falling. But what about Saki? Just go, I'll take care of Saki, okay? Right, we can't stay here. Everyone outside. Okay. Everyone's still with us, right? We need to hurry out of the castle. What's going on? Why is everyone on the ground? I didn't want this. Mew, this way, hurry. Everyone watch out for the rubble. No, wait, stop. Everyone fallen down. We have to help. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'd like to help, but we need to get out of here. But no. So, holy shit. Ooh, this game is punching me in the dick right now. We're almost out. Everyone be on your guard. Even out here, so many of them are hurt. Is this all my fault? Mew, you close your eyes. Here, I'll hold your hand instead of Kaido. If you can just get through this, the exit is just up ahead. We actually made it. It's like we got out in time. Saki, how's your leg? I think I can walk on it now. Thanks, Kaido. Nah, I should be thanking you. You saved Mew. Speaking of which, Mew, are you alright? Seems like she's having a hard time taking all of this in. We need to keep moving. Let's get out of here before some enemy monster. Too late. Are those screams? Huh? Haru, what are you talking about? I hear screams over that way. That way, don't tell me. Stop! Please stop! It's them, Palmon and Patamon. What the heck? Something's coming this way. Bad news, Takuma. Some real strong enemies are headed straight for us. And Seth's tell me these are no ordinary foes. There, it's them. Hmm. So this is where those fools with the human children have come. Pray. So much. Pray. Are these the attackers? Give me the chills. What is with those guys? Did they... Did you catch the look in their eyes? They gotta be bad news. Uh, what? These aren't like the monsters I know at all. You, you stay right next to me, okay? Leave the children to me. Of course, the children are none of... My, no... The, uh, the children are no concern of mine. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Don't you call me that? I am Garurumon! Are you with Arukeni, Mom? Ha! <laughs> You're nothing for trash like her. Now let's see. I think... You are the biggest threat. Ha! <laughs> How dare you! You can just leap that falcon. Here you form the bond with these human whelps. Ah, he's quite strong, watch out. Falcomom. Now let's see this power of yours. Let's go, Falcomom. Wow, he's strong! He's fast. Aren't you going to help them? Oh, I... I... You're always so useless. Uh, no, don't let it get to you! What? Don't tell me that's all you've got. I thought you were supposed to be strong. Now's my chance. Be 
these children are mine. Hey, back off! No, stop. Get away from me, you. Keep away from our queen. Let you take her. Save the queen! No, all of you, stop. Don't. Ugh. Ouch! No, no, they're all suffering because of me. Pathetic. I'm not finished yet. We will protect the queen. No, stop. That's enough. Please, you don't have to fight for me. What are you thinking? Get back here. So this is the child who escaped. I don't care anymore. Don't think so. Out of my way. Owie! It's after Mew. We have to get her out of here. Right, Mew, come this way. You're not getting away. Well, first you'll have to get through us. Bring it on. What about everyone else? They all really thought I was a sorceress. They fought to protect me, but I haven't done anything for them. You're the one in most danger right now. You'll need to hide. You're not going anywhere. You already beat Agumon and the others. Well, I won't let you hurt Owl or Mew. Huh. I barely even touched them. So pathetic. Well, what about you? Looks like you've got some fight in you. I'm not letting you hurt Mew. That's the spirit, Aoi. So what if you're trembling? Leave it to me, I can handle it. This is awful. I'm so scared. You should be. Not all monsters are cute and cuddly. Huh, <laughs> pathetic. What, he's leaving? But the human brats. You're letting them go? I came here so I could crush the fools who bombed with the human children. I'm not on some stupid hunt for children like you and your friends. Garurumo, you traitor! Traitor? How am I a traitor? I've never been one of you. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like they're fighting. You you think this is our chance to escape? We'll take the humans, the child sacrifice. Hey, it's not taking me anywhere. What can you do? You're only human. You will not harm our friends and partners. Don't you know when to stay down? You just got a lucky shot last time. I ain't done yet. Yeah, that's right. Well, at least you've got guts. Alright then. Let's see what you can do in a real fight. Not just a contest of strength. Wouldn't have it any other way. Don't see any way out of this without fights, but these two are crazy strong. If only there was something I could say to help our partners give all their strength. dare you pick on little kids like that and girls what that's not what ha is happening like you are the worst yeah even I'm better than that me a coward he's starting to get flustered he may be tough but he seems like the type that takes pride in a fair fight he is an imitating opponent all right but here goes nothing okay so I know we need to beat both Garurumon and uh, pff, the other one. You call that an attack? That was nothing. Unbelievable how strong this guy is. No, Kaido! So you're worried about what happens to him? Of course I am, he's my brother. I just don't like him being overprotective and I hate how he never gives me any space. He gets like that, it reminds me of things I really don't want to remember. And that's why you were so mean to him. Yeah, but he's still my brother. Yeah, I can't do anything. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, over here. Don't worry, we'll go help them. What? Attack! Ah, enough. No, they're all hurt again. Come on, tell me, what should I do? They're all fighting for me like I'm really their queen, but I haven't done anything for them. You, what do you want to do? I don't want to let anyone, to let my brother die. I don't want to lose everyone after lying to them, or my brother after fighting with him. I want to protect everyone else before change. Shakumo, please save Kaido. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you said that. Finally, you were able to be honest about your feeling. How you feel? Shakumo? I've been waiting this whole time for you to be honest with me. 
Because when you wish for something with your whole heart, I can be as strong as you need. But Shakamon, what's happening? Mew, I'm here to make your wish come true. For your sake, I'll grow strong. Shakamon evolve to... <laughs> what is our evolution gonna be like? I was kind of surprised by the fact that Rosemum, or whatever that she was called, turned into the fucking turd. Into fucking Vegemum. Okay, well, this one is anticipated, I should say. That evolution. Uh. Agumon. Lopmon. I only I can select two. Labramon, I guess. All enemies defeated. Oh, I see chests all over the place. We're first gonna go after Monziamon, by the way. Attack charge. Wait, Togemon as well? Interesting. Um, Evolution... Tyranimon? Also, I want the chests, obviously. Hydro Blaster 3 on the line. Get this out. Helmet Hammer. Evolution. Are you kidding me? Blazing ice. First take out Monzea Moon. It's just the number one priority right now. Holy shit, did Monzea Moon just one shot? Zeomon just literally one shot. Okay, we're uh, restarting. Um, <laughs> okay, we've seen all of this. differently. Okay, 
kind of want to change his battle location, and I'm gonna bring Falcomoon instead of. Loop Moon. It's because of the attack charge, most likely, isn't it? Okay, uh, evolution. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're going this way. Attack, bandage, and turn, evolution, Tyranno Moon. See, can I hit that from over here? Yeah. Good. And hammer. And turn. Evolution. Send these guys this way. Attack. Rom. Laro. Fucking hell. This way. Evolution. It's also vaccine, so it might actually be an issue. We'll see. Advantage. Annoying. Seriously, did you have to get stunned? Oh, <laughs> box fire, critical hit. Damage. I might actually die if I actually take a hit somewhere. We'll see if that happens or not. Oh, can't do that right now. I should have done this before I attacked actually. Yeah, I 
be trying. Let's see, can I? No. So this is actually a hard fight, yo. I might need to do some grinding tomorrow. Or I can die and turn to lower difficulty. Pfft. <laughs> As if. Okay. Um... Agumon. Okay. Attack charge. I think I'm just gonna take a room out. I don't think I'm gonna deal with him. Um, uh, we got specific attack scar charge. Turn and we can attack, so we're just gonna evolve. Holy shit, Guru Moon can handle a lot. Oh, you defended. Seven Leopard Ding Dong? You, on the other hand, can do guard break. So... I'm just gonna turn you into Dober. Actually, no, we're gonna take the chest first. Move one step forward, attack. Turn. Move. Attack Hydro Blaster. Counter attack Mendoxai. Physical defense boost. Okay, um, didn't give you anything. What does talking physical attack boost? Gonna take a slow pace because Monzeo Moon is way too strong. Breath. Okay. 
in almost evolve. Oh no 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 talk. I just move and speed. Destructive war on this motherfucker. Actually, just gonna attack from over here. Gold Skarun. Okay. Um. And turn. Attack charge. Guard break, guard long. Actually, let's use item. And where is the self pack? Fit. Get you two healed up. Move to the back, because you're just gonna get fucking murdered. Blades and turn nice healing. They walk there and turn, waiting for them to get a little bit closer. Hydro blast to get the pump hammer thingy. them next to each other. Okay, new 66. That's what we like to see. Attack charge on himself again. Uh don't necessarily like this, but we're just gonna distract the floor here. Can't walk that very fast before. Okay. Um items. Not boost seed self-pack. Get these two healed up. And turn. It's not really the right direction, but it's fine. It should yeah, good. Set SQ says, go get chalky milk. Okay, um, move, attack, fire breath. It's one. Look this way. Attack. Blaster. There's one down. Walk fist. It's fine. Okay, Monziamon is actually gonna attack. attack. Super annoying. Uh move you this way, use an item. And big bandage. 
Necessary. Fire breath. Okay. And turn. I don't have enough SP. That is super annoying. I just have to do a regular attack then. And turn. Sec SQ, I will uh, go and grab the chalky milk as soon as I'm done. Ah, uh, you kidding me? You too. This is most likely going to be a sack. Crap. Or maybe not. Actually. Fire breath. Oh, can't hit him from over there. Oh, are you kidding me? I fucked up. So bad. Super bad. He's gonna do attack charge. Lucky, sort of. Still can't hit him, which is super annoying. But that means I'll just take this motherfucker out here. <sighs> and turn. He's also out of uh, SP and such, which is good. Item. Solve pack everyone here. Let's see, can I hit? No. Um and turn. I'm just gonna attack him even though he's strong against me. Blaster. 
Okay. He's even... Why is he homing on Tyrannomold? I wonder. Got him. Take your time. Now I want to go to an amusement park. Grrrr! <laughs> Zeamon mashed. We did it. It was tough, but it took it down. Right, we beat Monzeamon. Jesus. That was actually kind of scary. or against me. Next time I won't lose. That jerk spouts off some excuse and then takes off. You think? He still seemed pretty strong to me. Kind of feel like he let us off easy. Huh. Well, I don't like it. So you didn't think us worthy of fighting in the earnest. You mean, you think he's actually even stronger? What's this going to keep attacking us like that from now on? I hate to think that think what's it be like if he came at us for real. Takuma, are you alright? You look pale. Sorry. Guess I got lost in my own thought. What kind of thoughts? If you say I'm worried, we won't be a good room all next time. Might bring everyone down. I'm sure they already nervous about it. Maybe I should say... And again, maybe that's not responsible. To be honest, I hope he's someone we never have to fight again. Once was enough. One fight with Garurumon was enough. I hope we never have to do that again. Well, I hear what you're saying, but we may not have much of a choice, especially considering Garur's one. Garurumon's thirst for battle. Yeah, it sounds like he had some sort of grudge against us for partnering with you. He did seem upset about us forming bonds with human children. All the more reason I'd rather not fight him again. He'd be targeting all of you, especially. Takuma, don't worry about us. Fighting to keep you safe is what we're here for. Yeah, that's right. Please do not forget that we're f that we fight to protect Minoru, to protect all of you. Hear that? I feel like we really should let them protect us. All right. Rumon shows up again. That's what we'll do. But we'll look out for all of you too. Yeah, that's the Takuma I know. It'll work out. It has to. Well, things were touch and go for a while there, but thanks to you, we're safe. It's been quite eventful since our rowdiness arrived, but you protected this place well. Thank you for that, human children, and our good queen. I'm not really a queen. Just call me Miu. Ho ho, then will you be leaving here to travel with your brother and his companions? Yeah, is that okay, Kaito? It's more than okay. I'm glad to have you back, Miu. And obviously, I will be going with Miu as well. Shakomon. Of course, even if I'm done being queen, I'll never be done with you, Shakomon. Isn't this great, Kaito? Practically all you ever talked about is how worried you were about Miu. Well, I'm her brother. What do you expect? Really, I'm glad we were able to rescue Miu. And that takes care of that. Ready to go back, everyone? Go back where? Oh. Back to the school. I mean, it's the closest thing we have to a home here. Yeah, that's as close as it gets. A sobering moment for everyone. When I said we should go back, it only meant we should return to the school. 
but it wound up being a reminder that we still can't back go back where we really belong. Why does everyone look so sad, old son? They can't help it. Aoi and her friends want to go back to their real homes. But it would seem you all long to return to the world from which you originally came. Of course we do. I mean, maybe life wasn't perfect, but even I want to go back. But but how can we? Saki, please don't look so sad. I'm sorry for him. It's just I can't help it when it comes to this. Since ancient times, children from the human world have sometimes found themselves here. Apparently upon certain occasion, the border between our two worlds grows thin. What's that supposed to mean? It's like a door that normally stays shut occasionally swings open. Yes, I suppose that might be another way of putting it. So you think we may have wandered into this world while the border was thin? You may not have simply wandered in. You may have been brought here. What? Well, but who would bring us here and how? You mean Saki and her friends were kidnapped away from their world? I don't know. I don't exactly remember being dragged here. Maybe it wasn't anything physical. Maybe we got drawn in or something. That could be it. After all, this world is nothing like our own. Aru, Miyuki, what about you two? Do you remember anything about how you got here? Nope. Another thing. Another thing. Okay. Oh. Okay, then. I guess all we can say for sure is that other children have come here before, like us. Based on what Jijun told us, yes. From what the professor said, if this is the world from the legends of Kenamogami, then lots of children may have come here over the years. So what happened to those children? Where'd they go? Never seen any humans before you and your friends showed up, Takuma. Yeah, me neither. But haven't we heard some monster mention offering children as sacrifices? I doubt that's just a wild guess or something. It has this kind of thing been happening for a long time? Ugh, that'd be awful. Indeed, those who kidnap children have been around for longer than I can remember. So you're saying human children have been coming here since the distant past? Need to be offered up a sacrifice by those things? So I understand that they seek a way to save our world from the fog that is consuming it. In truth, every time those hands, which we call the Kenzoku, take in a human child the fog lifts, the destruction ceases and space swallowed up by the void return. Hmm. What are you talking about? Human sacrifice? A fog that swallowed things up? Right, I forgot you still don't know about the fog. So what is it exactly? Nothing you need to worry about. It's, it's way scary not knowing what you're talking about. Just tell me. She has a point, Kaido. I think we should tell her what we can. Fine, but it's not like we know much ourselves. All we know is if you get swallowed up by it, you're gone. Gone? Like you die? Does, that doesn't make any sense. This is what we've been trying to tell you. This world is a very dangerous place. I didn't know anything like that. He looks completely horrified. Not that I blame her. I haven't just learned about this. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm over it either. I remember the dark arms reaching for Rio. Countless kids got grabbed by those things. Question mark? Why? What's wrong with this place? I don't get it. They have her children and what? I'm afraid I can offer you no explanation. You might say it's the work of our god. However, there are, of course, many who object to such methods. Take myself, for instance, or any gear in the park. Surely your partners feel similar. You better believe it. I'm not about to let those losers get their hands on Takuma. I feel the same way about Aoi. And that's how I feel about Kaido. What you're saying is, all the kids who wandered in here before can't imagine any of them survived. They all offered the sacrifices? I s to that, I could not say. Human children do not appear often. Some are offered as sacrifices, others just vanish. They vanish? I hear in the past there were those who would cross between dimensions at will. Is that true? I'm telling you, I don't know any specifics. I've never left the bounds of this world. But yeah, that makes sense. Legends still exist in our world. There must be kids who made it back, right? Oh yeah. You're right, some kids may have made it back to our world, even... Maybe even some monsters too. If you think about the fact that legends of the Kenemogami exist, that makes sense. In other words, depending on what happens, I could go to your world, Minoru? Hey, that would sound fun! Hey, that sounds fun. Jesus. I want to see what your world's like, Saki. So there may be a way back after all. 
Indeed, in fact, I might even recall something that may help you. This is something I once heard from a friend. There is a technique some humans know that can thin the boundary between worlds. Using this technique, some children were able to return to the human world. My friend, who told me this, saw the opening of the door between worlds with his own eyes. They weren't just taken in by something like those strange ghostly hands. Indeed, apparently this was something quite different. How would this friend of yours know the difference? Those who strengthen their bonds apparently gain a shared sense with their humans. They knew where their partner was, how they were feeling, and whether they still lived. So they could sense that their friends were alive and well on the other side of the door. Though apparently this sense did not continue forever. This friend of yours didn't stay with the human child they bonded with? Sounds like they didn't. I don't want to be separated from Takuma like that. Agamun. Uh, not that I'm saying I don't want Takuma to go home. <laughs> Is there, if there's a way back, I want to go with Takuma to his world. Yeah, I'd like it if we could go back together. Well, in any case, that is the extent of my knowledge on the subject. So you're saying that maybe, just maybe, there's a chance we'll be able to go back? Oh, what a relief. Yeah, man, this is great news. Did you hear that? We might be able to go back. Yeah. Don't you think that's good news? I guess, but this amusement park was way more fun than anything back in our world. Mew has some things to work out still. But at least now we have hope. We might be able to go back. I think it's a little too early to start celebrating. <laughs> what makes you say that? Digimon's explanation has been nothing but hearsay. Well, I told you all I know, so you can't say it's really true, and you don't have any kind of proof, do you? I find the strange connection between a human and a monster pretty hard to believe. Shuji, his inability to connect with Lokmo probably has something to do with that. Your points are fair. However, there are some evidence. Some things I've seen for myself. Many times I have witnessed the strong bond between friend and their human child. Though it was long ago and my memories have faded. Yet, had that child been sacrificed, my friend would not have fared. Well, those with a such strong bond... Uh, with such strong bonds share the same fate. That would be awful. Yet my friend still lives. This is itself proof that he... And that the child is alive somewhere. That might be the case. That must be why Kunimon vanished along with Ryo. You're right. I've been focused on losing Ryo. I'm so focused on Ryo's and Ryo that I never really thought about it. Kunimon went with him, didn't he? Yeah, poor thing. But does this boundary thing technique really exist? I don't believe it. It does sound too good to be true. Human children are using some special technique to thin the boundaries between worlds? How? As a question for one more familiar with the sacrifices and the borders between worlds. Is there even anyone like that we can ask? Kidnappers likely know something. They have ties to the being who rules this world. We should ask the Kipner first? No, wait, wait a minute. Who's the one who rules this world? An individual not quite the same as our god or creator. It's little more than legends, but supposedly there's a being who rules this world. In other words, a caretaker of all creation, a being who protects and rules us all. So if you were to appeal to that being, you might be it might just get your wish. Look, stop filling us with false hope, okay? That story is even crazier than the last one. Hanging up this god or whatever doesn't help us at all. Perhaps not. But even if you can't speak with this ruler, what about the kidnappers? You want us to just ask a monster like Arikanimum or Harumum what's going on? At the very least, they know enough to offer a child on an altar and summon the Kenzoku. It doesn't matter what they know. Asking them about it might as well be suicide. I agree. We were lucky to live through what we did today. Maybe, but didn't it seem like that dog thing, Garumumum, or whatever might tell us? Minoru, are you seriously considering this? Can you somehow have already forgotten how fearsome he was? But didn't that Garumumum guy basically ignore us? Yeah, and it seemed like he turned on the w the one who was with him. So you're saying there may be some of them who will hear us out. I believe that is a real possibility. No way! It's easy to see why Shuji would be concerned about this. 
At the same time, though, it's not like we have any other leads on how to get home. So do we approach Garumon and the kidnappers in spite of the risk? Because it seems like the safest thing to do would be to avoid them at all costs. Then again, if all we do is run and hide, who knows if we'll ever manage to get back. But are those really our only options? Maybe we should come up with some alternatives. Could there be an alternative that doesn't involve confronting the kin uh, kidnappers? An alternative? Like what? I don't know. Like, maybe we could talk to Gigi Moon's friend directly. Fortunately, I have no idea where my old friend might be. I guess that's out. Then maybe we could start by asking any other monsters if they know anything. Isn't that pretty risky too? Who knows what kind of monsters we might run into. Yeah, this world's full of all sorts of monsters. Good, bad, peaceful, progressive. I guess that's true. And since we don't know if any of them know anything, that's not a realistic option. So it's sounding like our only real choice is to go to the kidnappers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Our academy mom did say something interesting the other day. You mean how she called the sacrifices? That was pretty hard to miss, wasn't it? If this world's destruction can be halted by such means, a ruler must be involved. Therefore, the kidnappers may know much more about the subject than I do. Hiko Lebaka-san! Hi. If it's our only lead, we'll just have to make him talk, now won't we? Would you give it a rest already? You're already <laughs> always so picked to quick fight. I know, right? Kaito's such a thug. What other option is there? Okay, they may seem scary, and they may be up to no good, but we can still talk to them. Maybe we can negotiate, or something, I don't know. Nah, they ain't the type to listen to reason. I have to beat the answers out of them. You don't know that, sorry, but I'm kind of with Kaido on this one. I just don't know where we can find them, or how we could make them talk. All we have to do is wait, they'll definitely try and kidnap us again, right? But if we wait for them, don't you think they'll have us at a disadvantage? Yes, that seems ill-advised. Not how I like to do things anyway. And with Haru, Miyuki and Miu with us, we should try to minimize our risk. My sister and I could wait in the school, we'd be fine. Fine, no, I will not allow that. Well, what if we took the initiative? How do we do that? Do you even know where to find them? I got a pretty good idea. They came in from the north, which leads to the sea. And what do you think is beyond that? The sea? Oh right, I forgot this place is an island. Wait, you can't mean you just gotta cross the sea to attack? But how? It's not like we've got a boat, let alone an airplane. Hey, what are those? They're different types of vehicles. Boats float on the water and airplanes can fly. You mean you've never seen anything like them before? Nope, never. Fortunately, I can't say I have either. I doubt any of us has. Yeah, that's what I figured. Between the cable car and the steam park, I thought there was a chance, but maybe not. There are monsters who can swim that stay by water, but I doubt they'd carry us. And yeah, that doesn't seem very likely. Unless maybe one of those monsters was a giant turtle that could carry us. <laughs> FORESHADOWING! <laughs> hey Hiko, how are you doing dudes? Of course, if it was a monster that swam underwater, we'd probably all drown. So what do we do? This is where Gigi Mons- I've got it! Huh, Minoru? What is this old son? I just had the best idea. What are you talking about? Remember how when we went to the dam, there was that place that went underground? You know, the door that had the crazy design on it? You think maybe if we went through there, we'd come out on the other side of the ocean? Oh yeah, the underground waterway. Right, that's what you call it. Anyway, it's basically like an underwater tunnel. I believe the directions do line up. However, that door was locked. Did you not say it would not open? Hmm, in that case, I hope this might be of some use to you. A Gmon? What's that? It looks like some type of key. And hey, it's the pattern. This pattern looks just like the one we saw on that door. The one who attacked this place had it hidden away. I haven't the foggiest idea what it might be used for, though. This could be just what we need. Maybe we'll have to go check it out. Yeah, looks like we know what our next goal is now. Yeah, looks like it. 
First, we need to see if we can use this key to open the door to the underwater ground, the underground waterway. Then, if it works, we can take the waterway across the ocean. After getting the key from Gigi Moon, we left the park and returned to school. In part because it was too late to try the waterway, but mostly because we were exhausted, especially Mio, who fell asleep just as soon as we got back. The relief at having Kaito by our side again probably had something to do with it. As for me... Could we really go back? Takuma, you're not going to sleep. Oh, Agumon. Sorry, did I wake you up? No, I've been up. Something on your mind, Takuma. Guess you could say that. It's more like, now that I know there might really be a way for us to go home, I'm kind of excited. Oh, so that's it. Everyone did seem pretty lively at dinner. Yeah, guess they did. Minoru kept going on and on about finally being able to read comics again. Uh-huh. Then everyone fell asleep not long after we ate. They all worked really hard today. Worked really hard today. They sure did. But I think you worked harder than anyone. <laughs> you do? Absolutely. You're really something else, Takuma. I'm proud to be your partner. I know what it is, but hearing Agumon say that really warms my heart. Well, I'm proud to be your partner too, Agumon. That makes me happy. Thanks, Takuma. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you two up to, staring at each other like that? Huh? We were just talking. That's right! Uh-huh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you two had fallen for each other. I don't know what you're talking about. Minoru, you have an odd way of expressing yourself sometimes. It's n it is not one of your more admirable traits. Jeez, all I ever get from you is lectures. Come on, give me a break. I'm just letting off some steam. Or are you having trouble sleeping, sleeping because you were so excited? Bingo! Got it in one, Takuma. Way to go. The way you look, it wasn't hard to guess. I get it, though. Takuma said he felt the same way. Hey, Hagumon, don't give me all away like that. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the same boat. Well, who wouldn't be? We've got so much to hope for, but what if it doesn't work out? My mind just keeps racing. Same here. Still, I really do think if we all stick together, we'll get through this. Alright! Alright, Takuma. Put up a hand. As high as you go. As high as it'll go. What? Come on! Victory high five! Victory! If you wish to raise your spirits for tomorrow, isn't that a bit premature? No way! We're gonna get the info we need, then we make it back safe. Victory is ours! Yeah! Well, I hope that spirit goes both of you... gets... Well, I hope that Spirit gets both of you through tomorrow. Gonna give it everything I got to. Yeah, we'll be counting on you, Agumon, Falcomon. Now we had better get some rest to be sure we have enough energy for tomorrow. Good point. I think I'm finally starting to feel tired. Yeah. We'll head to bed too. Chapter 5. Okay, I need to put spoilers in my uh, title now because we're past. We're starting Chapter 5. After all, tomorrow is going to be a very big day for us. And they said, like, if you're going to show off Chapter 5 and further, make sure to put spoilers. Tag. Chapter 5 and further. Shuji, sniff. You are- you're wrong. You're wrong, Dad. Shuji, I suppose you must despise me. How- how could I? How could I hate a father like you? Then why won't you demonstrate the ability Expected of a Kayama boy. Next time. Next time I'll do you proud, I swear. Don't try to push yourself, Shuji. I'll just work hard enough for the two of us. 
You shut up, brother. You don't understand. Feelings of a loser like me, how could you possibly understand? From the start, I didn't want to do it. I couldn't do it. Why didn't anyone say anything? I can't do it. Tell me I can't. If I'd known, then wouldn't have had to do this. But you give up, Shuji. Are you truly my son? No. No, you're wrong, Dad. How exactly am I mistaken? I understand. I won't let you down. Really, please believe me. I can do it. Just like my brother. I'm my father's son, after all. So I can do it. I hate this fucking family dynamic. It's such... It's the worst family dynamic. I, it really pissed me off. Don't be mad at me, please. I'll do anything. I'll work so, so hard. Just don't abandon me. I'll make you happy. I'll work hard for you, Dad. No, no, don't. Don't abandon me. It, it was a dream? I see. Just a dream. Ah. Look, Mom. Why don't you change? I see. You're the same. You're just like me. You're just like I was when my dad chewed me out and had to abandon me. Poor Shuji. Okay, I think we need to keep an eye out on Shuji, by the way. After rescuing Miu at the amusement park, we went back to school for a bit. From Digimon, we learned that there might be a way for us to get back to our world. As for the way, we should ask an enemy out there who knows more about what's going on. We have to be ready before we go ask questions, so we're all checking supplies. Found anything promising, Takuma? Not worth mentioning. How about you? <laughs> Nothing over here either. I'm hopeless, aren't I? That's not true, Aoi. You're trying just as hard as everyone else. Thanks. You haven't found anything either, so don't sweat it. Right, what Agumon said. Oh, hey, you guys here too? Yeah, we couldn't find anything though. Any luck over there? Not at all, I'm afraid. You think a school would have more useful stuff, huh? What's the deal, I wonder? You seen the others? They haven't shown up yet. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, Morden? Sounds like Shuji had, nas had a nasty dream last night. Must be pretty wiped out. Are you alright, Shuji? You look a little pale. You're talking all funny in your sleep. You have a nightmare or something? Well, no, I I I'm fine. I slept like a baby, I, I swear. If you put Hiko- if you put Mon behind him, it's always a Digimon. Still, you're not looking good. Hmm. Said I'm fine on my own. You have no idea what's going to happen. I can't leave you alone. Enough, don't come with me. Hey, Miu! Those two are the same as ever. It kind of puts you at ease, doesn't it? Now's not the time to sit back and relax. We have to stop them from bickering. What in the world are you doing? Uh, Shuji? Hey, two, your constant finding is starting to annoy everyone. Shut up, this family business. Stay out of it. Calm down, guys. And Mew does... Don't be so cruel to your brother. You didn't do anything wrong. Those two get along in their own way, Shuji. Maybe you don't need to be so harsh. You say so, but anyway, stop arguing so much over nothing. Hey, the gang's all here. Guess I'm last. Uh, did I miss something important? No, it's cool. Now that everyone's here, maybe we should see where we're at. Yes, good idea. You take the lead, Takuma. It's all you. You ones are kind of intense, huh? It's only all of them. If only all of them were as nice as Aoi. Nothing to be done about it. We can only have faith and watch over them. You sure about that? In other words, nothing worth reporting. This is bad given the enemies out there. This thing's going to sacrifice us or something. I don't get it. What is this caretaker in the first place? Maybe... That's the one behind all of this. Probably like the king of all evil, right? How we figure things out if we'd met him. That means waltzing into enemy hideout? That's not 
risky. That's a death sentence. She's right. The idea is pretty frightening. What are you saying? You act like we got a choice. We got no idea what's going on. Our enemies. Why we're being attacked. Even this world. How are we supposed to defend ourselves if we're in the dark here? We ought to kick their door down and get them to spill everything they know. Hmm, well, you're not wrong. Yeah, I like it. Jump right to the last boss. You're gonna stay put, Mew. Oh, why? It's obvious how dangerous this is gonna be. You don't worry about us at all, just her. No wonder she feels cold to death. <laughs> now, now, everyone, just hold your horses. I can't let any of you just walk right into the enemy base. It's too dangerous. Oh boy, here we go again. You have no need to fear a certain degree of danger with... You have no need to fear a certain degree of danger with us around, you know? Yeah, I'll protect Takuma. We've been through our fair share of crazy scraps after all. Their numbers ain't anything to worry about. <laughs> Neither. Easy pickings. True, true. It should be fine with all these guys around, right? Their power, we shouldn't have too much trouble. We shouldn't have... Wait. With their power, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Jesus Christ, I can't read. With their power, we shouldn't have too much trouble, I guess. Damn it, that e that's easy for you to say. Your beasts are strong. Anyway, I'm against this. There's no need to face such danger. There are other ways. It's our best option right now. Rush their base and get all the intel we need. Simple. This is going nowhere, man. Why don't you try going for two cents? Hmm, should we head to the enemy base or look for another way? The first choice is definitely dangerous, but it'd be nice to get some info. The second means finding a safer way to learn about this world, but how exactly? Each option has its pros and cons. I don't see my option tipping the skills, but... Right now, it's hard to say if heading to their base is the right move. What? Since when are you fence sitter? I'm just saying, even if even if we don't go, we don't have any other backup plans either. That is true. Safety is key, but so is learning more about this world. When it comes down to it, the real issue is how to search outside safely, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, the only place that can help us is the one we don't want to go to. <sighs> do, uh, do we really have to do that right now? Give me a sec, guys. Paul! And we're back. You already didn't need a break. Bad SQ, bad. That's true then. Hmm. Let's just go already. Shakamon and the others will take care of us, right? Yeah, leave the hairy stuff to us. So that's it then. You're just going to ignore me. It's because my beast is weak. Because I can't fight. I must be strong. Always strong. Always correct. I must guide everyone. Shuji, are you okay? Anyway, we have enemies out there, so we have to fight. That means we have to work together. That way, we can all get home safely, assuming there even is a way back home. And stand the idea of being offered up with no clue as to why. I'm going to look inside the school again. You should consider your own plans. Uh, wait, hey! What a person who needs a break would say. No. It's not. You should watch your tone. Shuji is performing his duties quite admirably. Shuji is trying his best, unlike me. You're doing your best too, Aoi. Have more confidence in yourself. Thanks. Hey, Takuma, what are we gonna do? Our search takes priority, but maybe I'll talk to everyone and get a bigger picture. You do whatever you want, Takuma. Okay! It'd be nice if you actually knew something. But oh well. Free action. How much time do we have? Nine moves. Forest area. Uh, there he is. 
Shuji, should I talk to him? Yeah, we should talk to Shuji because he needs uh, as much moral support as possible. Giant old mushroom. Should I do with this rate? Don't be so time timid, Shuji. It's being timid. I'm just trying to consider the optimal strategy going forward. We have to take the best course of action. There can't be any more sacrifices. Yeah, I guess that's true. I I have to do it, otherwise, Shuji. This isn't good. Responsibility is important and all, but taking on too much won't help. Shuji was never leadership material in the first place anyway. Still, saying it straight won't help. Maybe in a roundabout way, or offer help. Let me help you out somehow, Shuji. You're taking too much onto yourself. Yes! Thank you. I appreciate the thought, but I can't ask you to do more. If I'm being honest, I already rely on you too much. <laughs> you think? I get it, Takuma. You think I'm unreliable, don't you? What? I don't think that at all. It's fine, I know it. I know everyone else thinks the same. Even so, I have things I have to do. The mission I inherited from the professor. What's more? Shuji. <sighs> I'm not worthless. Now he's talking to himself again. Back in his own little world. Please leave me alone. I don't feel like being around people right now. Shuji. Don't worry, I'll be right by his side. That means you too. Go! Leave me alone. No way, I can't leave you by yourself. So leave me alone, I just... Shuji, look at me. Shuji! And poor Lokmon. We should leave them alone, Agumon. Being said, I wonder if this is okay. It reminds me of the time with Ryo. But I don't think yelling will do any good. Well, he'll be fine with Lokmon there. I'm sure of it. No, we're not. We're everything but sure. If anything, we're probably sure that he's going to be the next guy to die. If I'm completely honest. It's Falcon Woman and the other. Should I talk to them? It's Agumon, Falcon Woman, Shakamon. Both of them were playing here. Welcome to the gang, Shakamon! Thanks, Agumon. Thanks to the rest of you, too. Indeed, welcome to our ranks. Did you introduce yourself to the children? Sure did. They looked a bit weirded out. Something wrong? There's a lot we don't know, after all. Everyone's a bit on edge. I say things are just fine as long as we're here. My sentiments, exactly. We can deal with anything that comes our way. If only the children would feel the same way. Things would certainly go more smoothly. We have to keep them all in good spirits. Let's do our best. I see, they're thinking about our best interests. Appreciate the thought. Still, to think they have to keep us in good spirits. No, no. Their consideration is important. Should I be the adult about this? Hmm. Still, it's a little embarrassing to come out and say thanks. You run to bush. There you three are. Oh, it's Takuma! So, I heard you guys talking about keeping us all in good spirits. Yep, that's what I said. Be sure to cheer you guys on. Yeah. Well, cheering us up won't take care of anything by itself. Still, things have been uh, so uncomfortable, Bluey. Maybe some fun would be better. Hmm. I don't know what you're trying to say here. And so, basically, putting aside whether it'll actually take care of our problems. Let's just say thank you. Oh boy. Just. Give a straight thanks, why don't you? All that pointless mumbling. Sure, I was trying to hide my embarrassment, but that just made it even worse. Well, I'm going to head back to the others. And I'll go with ya! Those two going to be alright? Yeah, we'll play again later. Gotcha. Okay, Agumon, let's go. <sighs> okay, let's see if anything on the map has changed. doesn't look like it. So I think we're gonna see if we can increase affinity with Kaito. What is the affinity profiles now looking like? 7, 10, that's actually a decent increase. 
Mew is still zero. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna do multiple playthroughs anyway, and Affinity is carried over, I think. What's this? An amulet acorn. Let's go talk to Kaido. There are too many things we don't know. I wonder what Kaito thinks about this. Kaido, do you think those creatures are our enemies? Who's to say? We don't have enough info to decide on what, one way or the other. Yeah, that's what I figured. For now, we have to find out more of the truth. Even a scrap would help. We can't take any action without knowing more about what's going on. It sucks not being able to do anything. We gotta figure something out, and fast. Kaito's rough in both words and deeds, but as core, he's a practical guy. Probably helps him be a good brother. He sure goes above and beyond for you. Maybe he's just seen his fair share of fights. He sure acts like he has. And Kaido, yeah. Three options. Are you used to fights? Great as a brother. Where did that come from? It just came to me while we were talking. You're reliable, help out in a pinch and act for others. Even if you're rough about it. Nice, good one. We even ask you. I'm just expressing my honest opinion. Man, brother of Shiro, amazing, I thought. It's not just me, you're trying to protect all of us. Ain't like I'm trying to keep you guys <laughs> you guys asses out of the fire or anything. Speaking of fire, your face looks Oh boy oh you feeling sick, little sniffly? Shut up, stop staring at me. <laughs> Shoot, all this Is chit chat that's the one and only Sep be out. Sep Damn, Sep, Sep, that's early for you, dude. Sep, enjoy the rest of your evening, my dude. Ladies. All this chit chat time. All this chit chats a time sink. Better get back to work. Hmm. Now, what were you guys doing anyway? Taking stock uh, of our food. It'd be easier to manage if we count and div divvy the rest up. Whoa, I knew you were reliable. You're awesome, Kaido. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Shut it, all of you, and don't think I don't know when I'm being mocked. Sheesh. Huh? Wait, where did the canned food go? I uh, say that's Agumon's. Uh, Agumon stole the food. <coughs> okay, Miu, Miu. Let's go talk to Miu. There's Mew, should I talk to her? Yes, we talk to Mew. First, let's go do a little bit of uh, camera zone. Nothing? Okay. Oh, there you are, Mew. Kaido was looking for you. Did I tell you, Mew? That brother of yours sure likes to worry. What do I care? <laughs> I understand his concern, given how things are right now. Isn't it natural for your brother to want to get along with you? Yeah, I guess so. Even in this weird world, your brother is still your brother. It's kind of... it just kind of bothers me, that's all. See. Still, I'm impressed that this situation doesn't rattle a guy like him. Haito is haunted by an evil spirit. An evil spirit? Yeah, that's why he frets over me so much. Here, Takuma, this is a talisman. Use it to exorcise the evil spirit. <laughs> Seriously, can't tell what she's getting at, as usual. Maybe I should just go along with it, or maybe medi mediate between her and Kaido. Oh, or what if I let Shakomon handle? Ah, whatever this is. Yeah, let's cast it out. Good call. Let's cast out that evil spirit. Yeah, I know a good chance. <laughs> Namu abida busu. Holy shit, I can't read that. Ah, it burns! It worked on you, but that means you're possessed too. Help me. 
Hey, stay with us, Takuma. Takuma, I'm sorry. Uh, it was just a joke, you guys. Ah, oh, you almost gave me a heart attack, you stupid jerk. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Bet she really thinks this is funny anyway. <laughs> At any rate, I'll say something to your brother. Try to lay off the bickering, okay? I'll try to try at least. Hey, Takuma. What? Came here all clueless and heck. I still have no idea how I'm supposed to handle this. It'd be nice if I knew anything at all. It's only natural to get anxious with so little info to go on. Maybe it's less that she hates Kaido and more like she's directing her fears at him. That makes sense. Anything changed? Doesn't look like it. Uh, we've been here. Let's go check every room real quick. For Lucy Saki, maybe I should talk to her. something. What's this? A crisp apple obtained. <laughs> uh, did we actually check anything in here? Because we all... Oh, we can talk to Kaito again. <laughs> the fuck, mate? We already spoke to Kaido. Kaito. Uh, let's go talk to uh, these two... Uh, ...asshats. That's so rude, Yordi. How you doing, Miyuki? Is is that a good or a not so good? I can tell. <laughs> he just seems to be upset about something. No need to worry about the two of us or used to this sort of stuff. Used to it? When the two of us are together, nothing can face us. We like that. There's no telling when enemies will show up here. The girls will sleep here and they they'll protect you too. Like we decided before. Sure. Aoi, Saki, you came. So it's fine. It's a little noisy, with all these people around. Noisy, he says. Are you guys not getting along or something? Mm, same as usual, I guess. Okay. Is there anything about the setup you don't like, or that bothers you? Not really. Everyone helps me keep bathe and change clothes, so it's a big help. Change clothes? Right, right. Girls do that sort of thing together. Wait. Does that mean... Change all here together? Uh, yeah, so? So? I'm jealous, Haru. <laughs> ah, best not think about it. Oh well, best not think about it too deeply. He's just a little boy in, his, in the first place. I doubt he'll get any perfect thoughts. Yeah, perfect thoughts, you know, like... Oh no, cold shower, cold shower. What? Uh, sorry, no big deal. Maybe getting a bit ripe here. <laughs> yeah, I'll just drop it. I'll just be that much harder to face the girls otherwise. Well, uh, if everything's good, then I'll leave it at that. I'm sure the problems will keep on coming, though. You say something? No, nothing. Yuki and I are just fine. We'll handle things on our own, just like we always have. So like I said, don't worry about us. We're different from the rest of you. Different, you say? You should worry about yourself more than me. Oh yeah, go on, take this. RIP PARTY SET! Looks like my sister's sleepy, so I have to put her to bed. Bye, Takuma. Different. I wonder how. What separates them from us? The fact that they've been here for a very long, long time. It's already enough reason. Uh, classroom. I'm gonna go back to the classroom in a bit, see if I can... Uh, pump up some uh, energy.
Because I don't want anyone else to die, even though they do keep telling me that it's going to be a rough one to keep everyone alive. In the first playthrough. Wait, there was not anything there with the camera that- oh, now there is. Just didn't pay enough attention. What's this? An amulet acorn. <sighs> There's something here, I can feel it. I hope it's not a shadow. Oh no, it's a shadow! Let's do a battle. Ooh, am I seeing an angel angel on there? Dope. Ooh, and an a wait, and an Agumon? Okay. Uh, let's see, we can use six, right? Gatomon, Angemon. Why is there a... Okay. Uh... Do I want to bother with that right now? No, we're not going to bother with that. Also, we're going to auto-battle. Full power. Where the fuck are you going, dudes? I'm going to go snack on some chips. What the fuck is Dietary Mono doing? He just keeps walking away and defending himself. the fastest of all of us.
Oh, that's the wrong one. In case I do need to actually turn a uh, user at some point. Thing to Agumon. <laughs> Agumon shall be a god among men. <laughs> Which flavor? Uh, sweet chili pepper. The sweet chili peppers. Nothing. Okay, let's go talk to Shuji again. Talk again to um... We can't talk to Mew again. It's gone, it's not here. It's gotta be the place, right? Yeah. It, I was here the whole time. What's wrong, Mew? Look for something? What'd you lose? Bro, really? You sure we should be missing with that messing with that? What I'm saying is that this thing is packed with power. Now nope, look, right, Agumon? Of course, let's do it. Hot dog, now we're talking to you. Thanks. Okay, what are we searching for exactly? Talk to Kaito now. It's the one that eats your canned food, Kaito. That's right, I was keeping it for the rainy day. Told you it wasn't me. Why would I steal anything of yours, Kaito? But you and I are all the only ones that knew about it. That's true, but I didn't eat it, honest. There's got to be someone else. Any ideas, Takuma? Nope, maybe it was some kind of mistake. Not a chance. I stored it in a safe place. It's got to be you. You say that, but I said it ain't me. You got to believe me. Dragon keeps denying it. Maybe you should trust him. Yeah, you're right. But then who's the culprit? Was it really all that important? It was Miu's favorite. Ah, I see. 
it was for me, I can understand why it get all worked up. Reminds me, I met someone in the forest that I've never seen before. Is it a friend of yours? Never seen before, so it wasn't one of the monsters you see here? Right, so does that mean it wasn't one of your group? All our friends are right here, and I wonder who it was. Oh, she's still looking for it. Wait, they changed positions? There's something here, I can feel it. There's another shadow. Yeah. Not now. I'm trying to find something from you. Not that I know where the fuck to look. Oh, there's nothing here already. Saki, maybe I should talk to her. Red beautiful flowers like blood drops. Hey, I have a chat here with Agumon. Getting a weird sensation. Weird sensation like there's someone here? Yeah, but they don't feel like a bad person. Not a good person either, though. It's very specific. Let's just be careful. Like I wasted some time. Nothing in the faculty room, music room. Lies, Zillar, don't lie to me. Talk to Shuji again. Let's attempt to talk to Shuji again. Had a puzzled look, and I bet he tried to see what was deleted. Yeah, you're true.
Didn't you say you couldn't find your wallet? Ugh. Don't worry about it. Don't need a wallet in this world, do I? I'm sure you lost something. I wonder what's going on. Please keep that thing about my lost wallet to yourself, okay? Got it. Let's try and look for it. No, really. But I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, Takuma, over here! Meet Skita! Something just popped out, Takuma. Isn't that guy holding all the stuff everyone's been missing? Hehehe, <laughs> I got my hands on lots of nice loot! Guess I'll head back now. Oh no, he's running away! So that's the culprit. After him, Agumum. Yeah, he went towards the forest. Let's go! Ah, that's the guy! Who else here? Pokemon? Shakamon? Oh, Takuma. It was an unfamiliar face, so we tried to stop him from running, but... That squirt has mules. Talisman! He's gotta be the baddie! You know it. The person that dropped it has been really upset without it. We really need you to give it back. Mm, well, nah. There's nothing that can change your mind. Nope, not a thing. Takuma, I don't think he has any intention of giving it back. Well, we'll take it by force if we have to. Let's do this, Agumon. I won't lose to a meanie like you. I don't plan on losing either. Shock. Let's see, I think that's all the chests, right? You guys suck! Ah, he ran off. Thanks, you two. We were able to get back all the stuff he took with you here. Pay no mind, my boy. He got his just desserts for messing with me, you stuff. Well, see, I got plenty of uh, interrogations with everyone to find all the stuff. No. Shakomon helped take back all the stuff that was stolen. Really? Well, thanks, Shakomon. Don't mention it. <clears throat> and you too, Takuma. You must have helped, right? Crap. 
quick and fast. Hey, you good? What went down? Kaito, Drachmo. I sense the battle brewing. I figured we could throw a few punches ourselves. Sorry, but it's already over. Worth? Uh. Well, as long as everyone's safe. Oh, that reminds me, here, Kaido. This is the canned food I was looking for. Looks like it was stolen, so I took it back. Is that right? Damn dirty thief. I'll show him a thing or two next time I see him. Yeah, that's why you can't be called Smelly Quacomon. But uh, anyway, he did me real solid, so thanks. Well, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, Shuji, Lord Mom. Been attacked? Do I have to fight? Don't worry, it's all over already. Thank goodness. Oh, Shuji, this is for you. This is my wallet? It's like it was stolen, so I took it back. I see. Yes, I knew I couldn't have just lost it somewhere. Oh, um, uh, thank you, Takuma. Phew, it's a good thing we got back all the stuff that you guys cared about. Thanks for helping out, Algamon. Yeah! You did a good job too, Takuma. Glad we got everyone's important stuff back. I mean, you can call it, uh, call yourself Quackmon if you want to. Quackomon. That works. has a piercing attack. Nice. Hi, Lizzie. What are you talking about? There are no chips here.
<laughs> as you continue now. <laughs> I don't mind this auto battle system actually. today, Lizzie. I would run away if I were you as well, uh, Lizzie. Means that Lizzie's Pokemon and not a Digimon. It's the only way. If Lizzie was a Digimon, then it'd be Listarmon. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. them rules and you shall follow them rules One time you don't have your brother with you, you get instantly harassed. What a fucking disgusting ass life you live there. Lizzie is Bubo Mum? Well, that doesn't sound very fitting. Typical America for you. Shuji, should I talk to him? Always talk to Shuji. 
Why the heck are you following me? I have to stay with you, Shuji. Why bother? You can't even do anything. You can't do any... Wait, what? I can't read. Use your head, why don't you? Help someone else. Go out on patrol. Mm, but if I'm not around, then you'll... You want to blame me for your uselessness? So you are incompetent and a coward. No, I'm not. Shuji, that's going too far. Takuma, this is our problem. Don't butt in. Then you have to listen to Lopman. That one's right. Why don't you try talking things out for a change? Fine. If you're going to go for that, that far. Lopman. What does you want to say to Shuji? I need to be with him. Why is that? You won't be in danger if you're a little far apart, will you? It's not that. It's not about danger. I'm, I just have to be with him. It's rough. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> Can't even explain yourself properly. You're completely useless. Mm. What an awful thing to say. If anyone said that to me, I'd lose all motivation. Still, his attitude is even bigger. It's an even bigger problem, isn't it? His fumes towards Lockmon. Maybe I should get Lockmon motivated so Shujiki will recognize him. Shuji, now is the time to show your stuff as a leader. What? Lomo may be weak and timid, but if you can help him grow big and strong, wouldn't that show your leadership ability? Right action. For coffee, because I got instant coffee for two bucks and then they were big jars. It was a good sale. Usually one jar of coffee is like ten bucks normal price, damn. I got a box of 30 chips for five bucks, damn, Shuji. You enemy and cute, but shut up. Lopmon is cutest. Hmm, that's true. Prove my potential for leading. Good, sounds like he's interested in the idea. Maybe it'll change. Let's see. This guy is weak. I just need to make him strong myself. Definitely gets stronger if I train him directly. I'm a leader, after all. Uh, where? Are... Come on, you. Just as you asked, I'll stay with you. Really? Yeah, stay close. I'll make sure to train you well. Yeah, okay. Well, Shuji's eyes scares me. They're together, just like Lopmon wanted. Just taking things... Taking things is a weird direction. <clears throat> hey, Dave! What do you mean you've been taken here kicking and screaming? of landing strip Dave Lizzie what the hell that's his Q's job <laughs> that's how XQ usually does things Myself. But Dave, you're already tied up. How will you fucking use your whip?
Hey, 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 don't murder my look, mom, you little fox. Or you can't do that. <clears throat> and Dave, you're right. This is a very fun game. Go put loads of laundry on the beer beam. Take your time, Lizzie. Be sure to come back, though. I mean, I can control the battles myself if I want to, but I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm... ...doing exactly not that. <laughs> Takuma, it's Shuji and Lopmon. You're right. What are they doing in a place like this? Hey, you can't even do a single push-up? I think I'd be satisfied with that. It's hard. No excuses. Eee. You said you'd accept my trading, so no backtalk. Serious about that special trading, huh, Shuji? Oh, Takuma. Of course I'm serious. To make him stronger, then everyone will have to recognize me. This would make a monster stronger. They're not normal. They're not like normal creatures. Sort of thing would only hurt them. It's basically the same as bullying them. But I wonder if I can get that concept across to them. It must be way. Gonna lurk, make some food. Chuji steps Lokmon. Not Lokmon, Lokmon. And Dave, I hope you have some nice foods. Chuji, do you really think this kind of training will make him stronger? Saying my way of doing things is wrong? I mean, look at Lokmon. That's. What's the point in training such small limbs? It's true, damn. How useless can you get? I'm sorry. No, that's not it. These guys get stronger by digivolving. So much muscle training won't make a... Says who? Sorry, but this is all to train his spirit, and that's spoiled attitude of his. Please don't interfere. Right, back to training. Get the lead out, Slowpoke. This isn't right, poor little mom. Then what's the right thing to do here? I don't know, I just... That's the problem, isn't it? I have no no idea what to do. Wait, what the fuck is this? Let me make a save here. No more dirty diapers. <laughs> no, we're not killing Shuji. You know, we don't want to talk to Shuji. Let's first go talk to... This guy. Kaito. Oh, I wonder if Kaito and Drekmon are good. What am you up to right now? It's the fifth time, man. Huh? Fifth time what? Fifth time you said that. You got some kind of complex or what? Words? You got something against the brother worrying about the sister? <laughs> Don't blow a gasket. That girl's the biggest button you got to push. See what happens when you do, punk. You won't have teeth to smirk with when I'm through. Come on, Kaido. He's just messing with you. 
You, Drachmo, you know that's not something Kaito wants to joke about. Uh, looks like you've gotten to know my boy pretty well, Takuma. Nice, very nice. Who's getting to know who? Don't act like you know damn thing. Ah, uh, he's glaring again. It's true, I still don't know anything about Kaido. I feel like he cares a bit too much for his sister. Would there be a reason? Did something happen in their past? Hmm, maybe I should ask. Or maybe... Or should I ask what he likes about Mew? He probably enjoyed take talking about her. I know he likes talking about her a lot. He doesn't like talking about the past. Let's go with this one. Hey, Kato, what do you like about Mew? What the hell are you asking me for? Are you trying to tell me you've got a crux from her or something? Son of a- Whoa, 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 whoa. You've got the wrong idea. It's just making conversation. That's how you react to a simple question. I worry for Mew's future. Hmm, fine then. Do what I like about her, then. Let's see. First, there's her looks. She's small and cute. Those slender arms make you want to protect her, watch over her all day. Then you got her cute eyes. Just her looking up at you makes you want to hug her. Mouth small, so nibble, like a hamster, hamster when she eats. She executes too, like a cat. Oh, leave me alone, but then she gives you this look and... Kaito, I get it. That's more than enough... Thanks for talking. Oh, yeah. That was just the tip of the iceberg, but if you say so. Wowzers! I never heard Kaido talk so much. Right? Ain't it something? Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't expect that. That's. That is, uh. Cisco material right there. This goes beyond brotherly affection. What are you doing? A survey or something? No, it's just I realized I don't know a thing about you. Doesn't matter. You don't care about me anyway. That's not true. We're friends, man. Something's bothering you. We're here to help. Uh, not that you have to talk if you don't want to or anything. That's right. If you say so. I may take you up on that sometime. Sure, anytime, man. Do I get to just talk to everyone? That's nice. Saki, should I talk to her? Saki-tan! Obvious how screwy things are between Suji and Lopmon, even from the outside. I wonder how Saki and Floramon are doing. Yeah! Oof! Good one, Floramon. Those two are playing ball ball. Ah, yeah! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to send it that way. Leave it to me! Get stretched your tendril? Nice one, Floramon. That is nothing. Any game breaking bugs or difficulty spikes? Also, do you digivolve from this? Yeah, you do digivolve from this. And to all those answers, it's no. You two look like you're having fun. Shoot, Takuma, Nagamon. Aideo! Hey there, Agumon. Just so you know, this isn't a game we're playing here. I didn't say anything. What is it then? Hmm, <laughs> like a physical exam for Floramon? Just figured I should know what she can do. Huh. Can't say I expected much such a serious answer. Rude! I'm always serious. No telling what's coming for us, so we should get ready however we can, right? Is my imagination, or are you enjoying this? Ah, it's all right through me. I can't keep a thing from you. If I'm being honest, it's enough for me just being here, alive and kicking. Just being here. That may be a bit tactless of me, so I can't say it in front of the others. I can see that. Shuji or Aoi heard. If Shuji or Aoi heard, I imagine they'd get mad or scold her. Minoru Mir would agree, I bet. The three of them would get along like gangbusters. As for me, I'm not sure. I haven't had time to consider if things are fun or scary. What's wrong with that? I bet Minoru or Mew would say the same thing. 
Oh, totally. Minoru is a dumb box of rocks, but Miyu seems like kinder spirits. <laughs> Poor Minoru. <laughs> what did you mean about Miyu, though? <laughs> How can I put it? Like, we're both carrying a heavy burden. Burden? Like, what? It's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, if I get a chance, I'd like to make friends with that kid. Let's see, what's next on my list? And you, Takuma, what should you be doing? Now is all we have, right? Hmm, I guess. He's small, smiling, but why do I feel like she's hiding something? She's hiding her history. Which is not that weird, let's be real. I'm actually kind of surprised I can talk to everyone. Aoi! Of course we talk to Aoi. Oh, oops, wrong button again. It's obvious how screwy things are between Shuji and Lopmon, even from the outside. How are Aoi and Labramon doing, I wonder? Let's see, with these ingredients, how about grilled fish with a salad? Hmm, but the nutritional value will be off without some meat in there. I mean, fish is technically kind of meat, I think. Then maybe a veggie stir-fry? But what seasoning would work? I'll help out, Aoi. Thanks, Labramon. Did you carry the vegetables to that box over there? Leave it to me! What are you doing, Aoi? Hey, Takuma. I'm just pondering over today's menu. I want to help everybody, everyone, but this is about all I can do. Don't sell yourself, don't sell yourself short. What you can do in a kitchen is pretty awesome. But I clam up in a group discussion, and if I do end up talking, it's always negative. And in the end, I just go along with the other subpoena and can do a thing. Oh, Takuma, what am I in this group? It's gotten so negative, I have to do something to lift up her spirits. She is kind and good at cooking, like a mom, maybe? Nah, that's weird. She's serious and dependable, just like a class president should be, right? She's a mediator, or coordinator. So that's pretty cool, right? We're going with the mom. What? Me and mom? Uh, maybe I'm oversimplified. What's a, a ma'am? First I've heard of it. A mom is someone who gives birth to kids. No, that's not quite right. They're kind, they protect everyone. Just having them around puts you at ease. Huh, puts you at ease. So, I'm just saying your kindness, the way you feed us, it's like that. Worked. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> Makes me happy to know you think of me that way, Takuma. Yeah? Happy? That works for me. <laughs> Mama Aoi. Anyways, I just have to do what I can for now. I'll have time to worry later. I'll get back to work. Thanks for talking to me, Takuma. I had no idea Aoi was worrying about her own sense of identity. Still, I can't stick to my preconceived notions now. Aoi is just a girl one year older than me. I'll have to remember that. I heard everyone's out, but we can't think of any safe plans. And nothing will change if we just stick around here. We really don't have another choice, do we? We have to go, huh? Is that Shuji's voice I just heard? It came from the cafeteria, Takuma. What's that about? Let's go check it out. I don't know. I don't know anything. What in the world am I supposed to do? Hey, Shuji, calm down. Calm down? How am I supposed to calm down? We don't know anything. You're just guessing. Legends, stories from Gigi Mon, nothing but fairy tales. So what the heck do you suggest we do? Hey, back off. I'm only saying the truth. We're doing everything we can to get back home, you know? All of us. But all you're doing is spreading doubt. What's the deal, man? You gonna run around like a chicken with its head cut off? 
just laying down and die here. I never intended to. Then enough with the yap yap. Keep your gutless whining to yourself, got it? Mm. Right. Alright, enough guys. This is no time for us to be fighting. He's right. Our only choice now is to believe what Jijimun said. We can't act without some sort of direction now, can we? Will the two of you get on board? No worries, I'll play along. Can't speak for this guy, though. It isn't like I'm trying to cause problems or anything. We know that there were kids in this world beside us, right? If we find out what became of them, we may discover a way to go home. Yeah, that makes sense. Sounds like a good place to start. Mm. Even so, that means we'll have to put the screws to those guys, right? I get the feeling they won't tell us with a simple pretty please with sugar on top. All we know is that offering sacrifice to a god or whatever caused something to happen. It happened several times in the past, apparently. I can't wrap my head around the whole thing, but sacrificing human kids is wrong. Yeah, Jijimin, Jijimon thinks so too, from the sound of it. And you know how... and you know I feel the same. Yeah, we don't know what happened. I don't know what I do if Takuma got sacrificed. We'll all go back together. No one needs to be sacrificed. That's the best case scenario, for sure. Everyone can understand that, right, Shuji? Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you two think? I'm against sacrificing all that, but I admit I'm curious. Curious about what? There's a way to solve things without sacrifice, and if so, who would know? In the end, we have to go to the enemy's base to find out, right? Just like Kaido said. Get the logic, but that means we'll have to fight. That's the part that scares me. Saki. She's right. Logic isn't everything, especially when it comes to our situation. Well, isn't that nice? Must be great for you guys to just trust each other like that. Do you have any idea what the rest of us must feel like? You don't even know what the heck these creatures... Without knowing that, how could I possibly trust them and work with them? You got any better ideas? We got no choice but to trust these guys. Trust them? These weird things? Please, that's too stupid for me, sorry. An awful thing to say. I don't know what we are, but Takuma is the only is the one who will teach me. Hakumon. <laughs> I trust Takuma. When I'm with him, I learn all sorts of things. It's kind of a shock how little you do know. These little guys believe in us. That means we gotta trust them too, right? And besides, I doubt most of these creatures are even after us. Some are neutral like Jigimon while others just attack us on the spot. I don't think they all they're all on the same side. I bet we could even trust most of them. Not a very convincing argument. Besides, the fact that there are there are the fact that some are after us hasn't changed. You want to fight them without any idea what's going on? I don't think so. Get real. Welcome back, Lizzie. He said it pretty please, pretty please. With the sugar on top, with sugar on top. I understand where Shuji is coming from, but we won't get anywhere thinking like this. We have no choice but to trust Agumon and the others to get through this. Still easier said than done. What exactly can we do to weather this storm? Some of these creatures are neutral, like Minoru said. What if we got them to join us? They are like the ones at the amusement park, they would not be much use in a fight. What's more, more allies means more people to lead. We must remain ununified in purpose. So we have more questions than answers here, the legends that fog. We won't learn anything unless we do something, right? So we've gotta try. Don't think you can just ignore me. I mean, all you're saying is that we should do nothing, so damn it, damn it. We do to deserve this. Agumon wants to talk. What do you think, Miu? 
I I don't know. I have no idea what we should do. Let's see. Sorry to put you on the spot. I mean, he's just a kid after all. The rest of us have to pour our weight. I should do whatever I can now, but one for now, the only ones who know anything besides Gigi Mum are those guys from before. We can talk to those things, right? Then why don't we crash that little base of theirs? 100% against the idea, there's no way we can talk it out with those creatures. And the others told us they know. Uh, Gigi Mum and the others told us all they know, so they're our only real lifeline. You guys feel the same, right? Anyone who agrees, raise their hand. Shuji raised their hand. Have you all gone mad? It's too risky. It could even be a trap. The eyes have it, Shuji. Ain't it obvious? Well, yes, but I... I'm more worried about everyone. Should we go too? Yeah, that's the plan. What, you don't want to go? Sure, it's dangerous there, but we can't just leave you here on your own either. Worst case scenario, they could end up being sacrificed while we're gone. It's dangerous to take them. They're just kids for crying out loud. There's truth in what Shuji is seeing here. I'm conflicted. <sighs> just because I need to... Like Suji says, maybe safe for the two of them to wait here. If something happens here, exactly. It's safe to take them with us if something happens. Bound to handle it, true. Okay, they're coming with us. Uh, wait, why? I know I'm right. So why can't any of you... Cheer up, Shuji. Shut up, just leave me alone. Aww. Hey, you two. What is it? I get the feeling you should keep an eye on them. You mean Shuji and Lopum? Yeah, something's not right. It's just a feeling I have. Okay, got it. I'll try to keep an eye on them. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, that sounds like a death sentence. Shuji. thirsty and you're already hung no, not really hungry, just snacky. Yeah, we came here when we went looking for Saki and the others at the dam. Indeed, there's a gate of some sort with an orange key of conspicuous design. My food in the oven, forgot to turn it. Good job, Dave. Good job. The key we got from Gigi Mon at the amusement park at the same kind of design. Do you think this is the place that Gigi Mon was talking about? Might as well go and find out. Hey, you. Get your head out of the clouds. Excuse you, my head's right here on the ground, thank you very much. You're not being careful enough. You have to stay vigilant at all times. You need to talk to us that way. Uh, sorry, Suji. We'll be careful. Heck are you apologizing for? What's the point in finding now? Let's just let him have his way. Hmm. Still doesn't sit right with me. Quite right. One insolent fellow. Oopsie, whoa, 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 Akumon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, I don't know what it is about this place. Something's off. Like, it's hard to walk or something. Proceed with caution, everyone. We don't know what's lurking around here. Ah, it's not safe there. Watch out. I got eyes, don't I? Jeez, you're annoying. I, I'm sorry. Same as always. You'd think he could be a little nice to look on, right? Who knows what will bring him around. Still, that's Shuji, man. He's taking the lead. Put some pep in his step. Hard to walk. If anyone's tired, speak up. See something, say something. We have no idea what to expect here. It's the point of being in being so cautious. This fog, sure, but there ain't any enemies around. Anything could happen. What'll we do if we get caught off guard? Walking around here saps your strength. Keep that up and you'll wear yourself out. That, that may be true, but 
You already look pretty tired, Shuji. You won't make it at this rate. He's more level-headed than she looks. I admit I'm a little, a little tired, but I can't exactly go back now, can I? You watch your damn mouth. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you can take it out on her. Wait. Uh, Kaito, what the fuck? Are you shooting uh, out of the zone? Alright, man. Just chill already. No, man. He's totally right this time. Don't you snap at me. He didn't really snap at me. Oh, no, Shakamon. Things will just get more complicated if you pile on to. You like this already. I'd hate to see how you're gonna act down the road. Like, doesn't Shuji seem kinda nasty today? Your voice down, Saki, he's going to hear you. Would that be a bad thing exactly? He needs to realize what he's doing. Hey, somebody's being a real buzzkill on this trip, you know. I guess I agree, but he's getting really resentful towards Shuji. This can't be good. Damn it, this is hard to walk where he sure is pissed. I should pass on trying to talk to him in this state. Yum, burned food! Dun dun dun. Huh? What is Minoru? I just thought I saw something for a second there. Something? Can't say for sure, but it might not be a friendly face. I'll go check it out. Are you saying the plan was to stick together, so follow the plan. It's not worth getting so pissed off. I just want to have a little Luxie. Calm down, Shuji. Minoru understands. You don't have to tear him in tear into him like that. Yeah, what she said. The heck do you know about humans? Keep quiet. Come on, that's no way to speak to Lop Mom. What do you think that will accomplish? At any rate, don't separate from the group. Alright, already. Hey, Takuma, is it okay to leave those two like that? Yeah, I'm a little worried myself. Still, what can we even say? Yeah, I don't know. I'm stumped. All of us should be able to get along, but how can we explain that to him? Neither Agumon nor I have the answer. Don't worry, I have the answer. You have no idea what's waiting ahead of us. You must remain vigilant at all times. Enough with this crap. You got a problem with what I'm saying? Did I stutter? It's bad. Should you mean you're not already to go at it? Got to stop them. You should watch what you say. How am I in the wrong here? You should be trying not to get so heated. You're a leader after all. Yeah. That went to my head back there. Still, we're going into the unknown territory up ahead. We have to stick together, got it? He just says whatever he wants to and never apologizes for anything. Come on. We gotta keep our cool here. Applies to Shuji more than anyone. We're almost there now, so no territory from here on in. Do what I say, everyone, I've got it. Yes, sir. Man, what a pain, Saki! No way to speak to someone older than you! Stop blowing your top over every little thing. Pain in the neck. Pain in the... Only saying the truth. Only you've done is say things to divide us. Now, of all times, you gotta stick to get I'm the one dividing us. Take a look in the mirror. Can't you see what you're doing? What? 
hurting you. We've got to fight it on our hands here. Come on, you all place your bets. Hey, now, don't encourage them. My, this is kind of bad, isn't it? It burst. Hey, Dakuma, you gotta stop those two. Yeah, I know, it's just... It's clearly lost his cool. I have to calm him down so he listens to reason. Maybe I should let them fight it out and clear the air. Then again, don't get Kaido to calm down. I doubt it'll settle up here. What a... You're up, Miu. Uh, me? Just handle Kaido, okay? You can leave Shuji to me. Leave me out of this. Alright, already. No need to glare like that. Now it's not the time to fight, okay? Now it's the time to fight, isn't it? Is it? But they ain't trying to. Man, it's so stupid. Let's go already. The sun will set before we get there at this rate. Hey, you don't just go off on your own. Why are all of you... Shuji, wait up! <laughs> Arukerimon! There's the bitch. This is it. This lock is on the flock gates. This is definitely the one I saw before. Right, there's that strange pattern again. So pretty, I want one. Don't go touching that menu, we don't know what know anything about it. Aw, oh, you're no fun. This must be the island road Gigimon was talking about. In that case, we ought to use that thing. Stamina, mana, bum bum. Waka waka, hey, yay, stun, ba da ba da bum, ba da yum. Or lum. We got from Digimon here. Go on, use it, use it. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Bingo, it's open. Here she comes with a flying Dorito. This is how we got close to the end. This is how we got close to the enemy base. You don't know what will happen from here on out. Keep your eyes and ears open, guys. Right, we don't know when a fight might start. You're not looking too good, Shuji. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, Kaido. Got a second? What is it? When brings Shuji along in that state, put him in danger. There's no fog around, so maybe he can wait here, or we could have him turn back. Good question. What do you think, Takuma? That might work. I'm a bit worried about taking Miki and Haru up ahead. Lokmon's with them, after all. If anything happens, they can handle it. Let's give it a shot. Who knows? He might even like the idea. That's an awful idea. What's the problem? Of course, all the responsibility on Lokmon. It's too risky with the Falk and all. I have to agree. Okay, how about this? We'll stay behind, too. That way, if anything happens, we can all handle it together. What about you, Aoi? Will you and Mon stay back, too? Riding straight into enemy territory, you know? I'd rather not lose more manpower. I thought exactly, we can survive without one of you, but two? That's too much of a handicap. Everyone should go together. It's dangerous to bring people along in such a state. There's no reason to leave them behind, though. Think we should do Mew? I just don't know. Yep, she murdered the mom and now has three kittens. The mom. Wow. We're just going around the circles at this rate. What are we gonna do, Takuma? We definitely can't leave things as they are, but mm, I wonder. If only we could leave Shuji behind. I believe the rest of us would be in sync. 
The fact that we can't is the cause of all this confusion, right? Indeed, nothing good will come of this with things as they are. Still, we should decide as a group, Shuji won't fare very well left to his own devices. I'm also worried about Lokmon. Lokmon is suffering all alone. It's only that human would try and connect with them. Shuji and Lokmon. It's tough to figure out what to do with them. I'd feel better if Miyuki and Haru stayed back, but that's a lot for Lokmon to handle. But Ayui and Labramon stay behind, but that puts more danger on those going in. I hate the idea of leaving Suji behind, but I have to treat tread this as a real option. We have Aoi and Lapramon stay behind with Suji then. Whoa now, my man. That put a big dent in our fighting force over here. Still, it might be for the best. We do know, don't know if it'll be safe back here after all. Still, that's not the... Are you kidding me? Whoa, don't freak me out here, man. I believe I will be here to guard me. It's the same as saying I can't do anything on my own. Um, Shuji, that's not it. Everyone is just worried about you and... I'm fine, I'm not tired. If you all won't go, then I'll just go on my own. Ah, uh, Shuji, wait up! Shut your mouth, stop talking to me, you useless thing. Well, there goes our fearless leader. Mm. Something wrong, Lopon, you look so upset. Why? Why am I the only one that that's so despised? Did I do something wrong? No, I haven't been bad at all. Lopon, are you okay? I don't know, I'm feeling kind of shaky. Sorry, I better go see Shuji. There he goes. Guess we should head out too. You got that right. You have no idea what's waiting ahead of us. You must remain vigilant at all times. Is that your Shuji, Shuji impression? He hit it right on the head. Knock it off, you two. Okie dokie. So childish. I have a real, real bad feeling about this, Takuma. Lopon in danger somehow? I think so. I felt something kind of dark back there. Humans' hearts have a strong effect on us. Should you like this? Things could get bad. Bad, huh? For once, I hope you're wrong. Ho 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 ho. How do Kenimon? That boy, he seems to have a weak spot that I can exploit. So, uh, this is the waterway, huh? It's more of a pathway than I imagined. How big is down here? More like how long. Can barely see in front of us here. Could be pretty big space down there. Yeah, the fog's pretty thick. Something's different about this fog, Takuma. Different? Like some kind of gas or something? Like, the breathe in your dead kind? Relax, we've already inhaled tons of stuff already. I think you're right. Still, it seems dangerous. It's hard to see ahead. He had better make sure we don't get separated. Okie dokie, Smokey. Getting lost in here would be no joke. Something's here. Welcome, children. For you to come here, are you so eager to meet Grim Fate? Please, more like meet your Grim Face. Just wait until you see the ghastly looks on your friend's face when I'm done with you. That's all I need to hear. Let's do this, Dracomon. Yeah. My, so scary. Maybe small, but you have me outnumbered. Then again, what do you think about this? Stay together, guys. It's too dangerous to get separated here. Fox, so thick, Takuma. I can't tell where I, anyone is. We'll have to try and call them out. Ugh, my head, it's the room spinning. Oh no. The gas is so thick, I don't know where the others are. Agumon, where? Agu. Damn, I can't even speak. Can't hear his voice. It's all going according to their plans. I have to do something. Oh no. I'm passing out. Okie dokie, smokey. Dangerous is my middle name. No SQ.
That's not your middle name. <laughs> Ugh. Uh huh. Where's everyone? Agumon? They're all gone. Even our Kennymon. For everyone to disappear, even Agumon, something pretty nuts must have happened. I'll just keep moving for now. Do we go straight or to the right? Let's go to the right. There you are, Takuma. Agul, I'm so glad you're okay. Takuma, what is it? What do you think about Lopmon? Lopmon, I feel bad for him, to be honest. Why do you ask? Looking at Lopmon, I start to think. There isn't any bond between us. There isn't any bond between us and humans. What do you say, Nagamon? Look at how awful he's being treated. Lopmon is practically afraid, it seems. You're acting like nothing's wrong. That makes you just as bad, Takuma. When our connections with people are severed, something awful happens to us. We become like those things. No, even worse. It's not the actual Agumon. B. Huh? He disappeared? See, that Agumon was a fake. Still, the resemblance was uncanny. Agumon, I wonder if he feels the same way. <clears throat> no way, Agumon would never throw shade on our connection. I won't be fooled again. I'll find the real Agumon, if it's the last thing I do. And the water level seems about the same. But there could be enemies lurking out of sight, we'd better be careful. To the left, to the left. I don't like it when people act tough, SQ. You. you are either tough or you're not. There you are, Takuba. Yeah. Oh, what the heck, Agumon? No way, Agumon's trying to attack me. You need a human kid, no problem. Are you scared, Takuba? <laughs> Panic, despair. It's weird, this isn't the Agumon I know, believe in our bond. I won't panic, besides you're not even Agumon. Damn. Oh, he disappeared. Is that one of our Kenimon's traps? Man, what a dirty prick. I won't let her have her way. Not a chance. Oh, there you are, Takuma. Agumon, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, me too. I can make sure you're served up as a sacrifice. Yeah, I guess. Wait, what? Agumon, did you just say sacrifice or... Of course I did. Bring you and children up a sacrifice is only natural, isn't it? This fate is unavoidable, so please, Takuma, don't put up any futile resistance. Oh, you're fake, aren't you? Oh, he vanished. Oh man, the sort of attack is the worst. Yeah, especially if you think about the fact that everyone is dealing with this. Oh, it's you, Takuma! This way, this way! Wait, what? There are two Agumon? He's a fake, Takuma! Let's 
Feed him up, good. What? No, I'm not a fake. Then prove it. Prove it, he says, but I don't know how. See, come on, Takuma, let's clean his clock. They talk and act different, but more importantly, I'm not doing on less kind of dark. That's real, Agumon. Yeah, you're right, Takuma. Chit. In that case, I'll just beat you into dirt. So that's what you really look like. Let's do this, Agumon. Yeah! Oof. Dremon defeated. Oh, there are quite a lot of enemies, actually. That is one big ass cedar moon.
Actually, ooh, that's bad. I got pomegranate dark chocolate. Still stunned? Jesus. In the back. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay.
Yummy, yummy. You're fucking kidding me, right? Hey, Oopsie. Yes, I missed and I hate it. Wait, you gotta be so rude. Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? Gonna marry you anyway. Cringe. somehow but for them to disguise themselves as you Agumon what a nasty trap are you okay Takuma need a break no, I'm okay really we have to look for the others hey Takuma hmm? what I'm always by your side okay so you don't gotta worry about a thing yeah thanks Agumon 
leaving you at one. We don't get fooled by an illusion like that. Takuma, there's someone over there. I can hear sense it. There's still some fuck over there, but no problem. Let's go. No, this is the real one, Lizzie. The real one. What a nasty attack that was. Anywhere else, my beloved children would have dried up and died by now. Still, I can set up any traps I please in these waterways. I know so well. And the results are undisputable. Surely it's about time to harvest them. It's only this many human children. Hold on. Best not make light of those allied with the humans. Don't you see? That's why I'm attacking their spirits like this. Too bad we didn't have any quality minions to throw at them. Worthless, really. And yet I stumble upon an interesting little one. Interesting? In what way? You'll know soon enough. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's Aoi, by the feel of it. Oh yeah? Then let's look for her next. QQ! The QQ guy is dead. There she is, Takuma, it's Aoi. Aoi? Oh, Takuma, Agumon, what's wrong? You look hired. Yes, a bit. But it's okay, I'm okay. So, she says, but anyone can see how listless she is. Did something happen? Nothing can be done about it. Really? Alright, are we? Something must have happened. The thing is, Labramon said some awful things to me. Labramon did what? And to you, of all people, I was incredibly shocked that Labramon kept saying nasty stuff again and again. I had to run away. I can't imagine Labramon speaking a single mean word to her. I know, it must be... Abramon. Hey, Aoi. You're pretty close with Takuma, aren't you? Sure, you threw yourself into his arms, crying that said mean things to you. That's so craven of you. Saying some awful things to Aoi. Sure looks like Labramon, but the real Labramon would never say such awful things. But, but I haven't done anything. They're always that way. I have to help everyone. I have to do my best. Playing the good kids actually accomplishing next to nothing. But I... I... It's not true, Aoi. Aoi always works hard for everyone, that's the truth. Saying she does nothing is a lie. Labramon sees that more than anyone. The real Labramon would never say such a thing. Huh. <laughs> yeah, just like fake Agumons. I knew it just with me and Agumon. Takuma, thank you for helping me back there. You're welcome. I couldn't keep my mouth shut hearing all those bogus things about you. Bogus? Talking about how you can't do anything? That couldn't be further from the truth. You cook delicious food, treat our wounds, and always treat everyone with kindness. Seeing someone talk crap about you after all? You do just got on my nerves. Takuma, thank you. Really? are useless, you know that, Dawi? Scared to fight and able to move, keeping your mouth shut when everyone disagrees with you. You haven't been any help to anyone. It's not. Just don't want anyone to get hurt. Very least, can you serve up that useless life of yours for everyone's sake? My... Give me life? For everyone's sake? Hold yourself together, Aoi. Loverman would never say those things to you. It's you, Takuma. Loverman adores you, you know that. 
to him your existence irreplaceable. He never lets you give up on your life for someone else. Yeah, you're a big fat phony. Huh. A big fat phony. Finished. I knew it wasn't a real labramum. Branching paths. Chapter 3 Somehow I've been transported to another world. The place was brimming with spirits like beings, and everything about it was constantly changing from the mountains and trees to the very ground. Whoa, that was a close one. UK boss? I'm fine. One more step though, and I'd have gone head over heels down a cliff. Well, I'm glad you're alright, but could you try not to get so carried away? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just it's just hard not to react on everything here so amazing. Right when I thought the ground had vanished, a new patch of earth was born in its place. It's like we can't trust the ground anymore, and we're standing on water. <laughs> I love it. This place is the best. I can't wait to learn all about it. Then I know someone you'll want to meet, boss. Sounds great. Take me to him. You don't want to hear more? Wait, why am I surprised? Follow me. So the spirit led me to a river. Found him. My friend... There's a real old timer and can probably answer any of your questions. And the spirit introduced me to another, more impressive spirit. If I'd been on my own, I may have gotten the shivers. Instead, I asked the old timer my most burning questions how this world came to be. To be honest, the answer surprised me. I expected to hear a myth or a legend, but the way the old timer talked, it was like he'd seen it happen. In fact, he said he had. Now that's an old spirit, and that's to say nothing of the tale itself, which was just astonishing. I learned not only about the creature of this, the creation of this world, but about an even larger truth. You satisfied, boss? I couldn't ask for more. I want to draw it so badly. It's killing me between this and the legend I heard in my world. Well, it'll make for some incredible art. That's great. Because you won't be hearing another story like that. Why not? I don't know any other monsters as old as the old timer. They've all been getting lost as this world changes. That sounds like a real shame. <laughs> you comf comforting me, boss? Comf comforting. Comfort. You comforting me, boss? Well, that's. Well, thanks, you crazy human. Listen, buddy, I can't go home anymore, but I want to keep painting. The world may be changing, but I'm not about to let that change the core of who I am. Boss, come on, let's go. It's too early for us to just give up. I'm going to shake you down to your soul with my incredible art. Well, now that's something I've got to see. Easy to get lost. Which way should we go? No, oh, please don't let there be any other ghosts down here. Let's go to the right. Right. Let's go to the right. Ghost Wraith. Side path. Let's go to the beach, beach, welcome to the beach. Teach, we, treat, be me. Curious to see where it goes. Trouble of get lost here, best not move around carelessly. Just went to the right, and that was the wrong way. 
type strengths and weaknesses. The three monster types have rock, paper, scissor effects. Owie! Thank goodness you're alright. There are two Labramon. Careful, Owie. That one is a fake. It's rich coming from you, you faker. You know she'll know the difference. What should I do, Takuma? Are both of them real? Shoot, it's hard to tell them apart just by looking at them, which is the fake. Just adores you, Aoi. She would hate to lose you, wouldn't she? See. How would you feel if I became a sacrifice? Oh man, that'd be the best! Oh, Aoi, there's no way you can sacrifice yourself. I'd be crushed. Well, that settles it. <laughs> I knew you'd be able to tell us apart. Huh. Cedramon, so you were transformed the whole time. How could you tell? Damn, I remember this. You have returned with food. What kind of food? Ah, you ran away. Let's leave him be for now. It's enough that we reunited with real Rob Ra Ramon. Why can't you English, Sama? Because I can't either. Oh, hey, hold up, everyone. What's wrong, Labramon? It's Saki-sen. She's close by. Really? Oh, no. We have to find her quickly. Yeah, let's search for her next. Welcome to the beach, beach. Let's go to the beach, teach. and gentle ladies thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight I am completely exhausted I'm so sorry I need, really need to go to bed uh, tomorrow's Tuesday Tuesday is no stream o day because I'll be at the parents which kind of sucks because I really want to continue this game but I'm getting so tired We don't sing Nicki Minaj, she has anacondas. I mean, what? Uh, that's not very helpful for my brain. My anacondas don't. My anacondas don't. Something like that. Uh, yeah, guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, chapter 5. We're making heads way through the game. I'm loving the game still. I really like it. I can't just... It's just no hating on this game. I can't hate it. I love it. And, uh... We'll continue on Wednesday. Really, don't pay me any attention with the fact that I'm as tired as I am. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I just felt all my strength leaving my body. Um, yeah. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, and sleep well, sweet dreams, and until the next time, good night. Adios.